Hey guys, Mike from the Junk Drawer Show here. Just wanted to let you know that episode 41 of the Junk Drawer Podcast is about to get started. Uh, This time, Josh and myself are joined by our friend Craig, and we basically did a fight companion to UFC 251. Uh, Talked about philosophy, like how much money would it take for us to go ahead and step into the ring with an MMA fighter, and a bunch of fun stuff like that. So hopefully you guys enjoy uh, while we watch some fights and have some drinks, and uh, pardon my mess, we're getting ready to move into a new apartment, so it's kind of a record right now but uh we love you enjoy and uh subscribe and have a good time thanks nice call thank you nice call. Oh. oh i hear myself thank you i don't want that okay so hey everyone um we'll probably make this into a podcast too assuming it works out But we, Mike and I, are watching UFC 251 because there are three title fights tonight. Three. So I am having a trouble. I'm having trouble getting my pay-per-view working. Mike has his working. So he will do commentary and I will hope for the best. Hell yeah. Well, naturally, mine just decided to start buffering. So. Oh, no. You might be getting hit with the same thing I was. Oh, wrong mouse. I have two mice that look the exact same, but are used for two different computers. There we go. I'm back. Nice. I'm refreshing mine right now. Just cracked my beer open. So I'm ready. Sweet. So the, the video is going to be weird because the whole time I'm like looking down, but I think it'll be okay. Can't show. What, what mouse am I on? Wrong mouse. Okay, so no fights have started yet. No. Main card should be about to start. Hey, Shay, what's up, sweetheart? Yeah, let me switch this to Discord so I can see. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so while we're waiting, my friend got me this dope fucking mask. I showed you, Mike. Boom. Look at that. Sweet as hell. Look at all that nerd shit. Got that D20 with no numbers. No, it's it's super cool. I'm excited to wear it and have one that's like machine washable because I've just been doing the um, uh, like <laughs> the reused, not the reusable one, but the disposable ones. So I've been doing that for like three weeks now. Oh, dude, I think your boy's in here. Who? Uh, got Dak Attack in the chat saying, "What up?" Oh shit! Oh, wrong one. What's up, Dakota? How you doing? Can you hear the uh, the pay per view audio on stream? Man, I got the services unavailable now. Yeah, it's cycling through. <clears throat> Ooh, yeah, Warzone. I haven't touched that in a while, dude. I'm so bad at it. Okay, as long as it's slight, we should be okay. So you know what else is kind of weird? For some reason, OBS updated, and now I have to show the mouse. And I don't know why. That's annoying. Yeah. Is that why you have it on your shirt right now? Because your shirt's white? Oh, no, I was trying to put it off to the side, but it seems like there's a big delay. Okay, so now I got the error 503. Keep refreshing. Has anything happened yet? Nope. There's still just it's just Bisping and the other guy. Do you know who what do you Anik, know what his I'm name assuming. is? Huh? John Anik. Mm-hmm. Okay, looks like mine's coming through now. Cool. Let me try to refresh this because I'm getting super delayed. It's gonna be weird to me if there's no 
no Rogan for this one. Seems like such a big card. Yeah, it seems like one that he would super be about. There we go. Okay. Nope. I don't want that to pop up. How tall is Volkanovsky? Uh, I mean, we'll probably see shortly. Um, I mean, in like two hours. Oh, that's that. right. He's, that's right. He's fight number three or four. I think four. I think it's Jan Aldo is three. Yeah, Jan Aldo. Yep, three. Yeah. Because we have Van Zant and then Nama Junis. God. Um, the so first good. two fights. I've always been a Nami Yunez fan, but especially after mm-hmm. moving to Colorado, got to rep my girl. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know she was based in Colorado. Yeah, she lives here. Her and, is it Pat Barry? I think his name is. I mean, what's her face? The one that uh, um, Nunez just destroyed uh, last. Oh, yeah, she fights out of the jungle. Around. Yeah, which is weird. <laughs> yeah, my cousin almost trained there when she was there last summer. Oh, yeah? Yeah, but then she broke her uh, knee. Yeah, she had some sort of knee issue. Ooh. Dude, It's it's been a long like recovery for her. I can only imagine breaking the knee. That sounds terrible. Yeah. Have you uh, Have you played any of the UFC games? No, I haven't. Hmm. I wonder if they're any good. I won't buy it because I don't play games enough, but. It's like the stream is there. And then when I click play, it's just still loading. That's the same thing that was happening to me. I think it'll uh, just give it some time and it should pop back up. Right now it's just going over the different fighters. Yeah, I just got those three dots. Yeah, that's what I had too. So I definitely want to get a second monitor. I mean, I can give you a crappy one if you, you know, want me to try mailing it to you. (laughs) I wouldn't be against that. It's not like, it's just, it's not like a great aspect ratio. And that's the reason why I say it's crappy. It's because it's basically like a 4.3 monitor. Oh shit. Or not a 4.3. Yeah, old school. Yeah, yeah, four three. I am like, is that right? No, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, apparently it's like one of the old monitors that um, when I first started working from home, like before, you know, shit hit the fan. So probably like close to a year ago. Uh huh. Um, I guess they had given out a bunch of like old monitors from our office to when they upgraded everyone to like these nice View Sonics that everybody has now. Mm, gotcha. Yeah. <clears throat> they had a bunch of these like old Acer monitors that they just like, Hey, if you guys want them. And there's like one guy that I work with that like stocked up on them. Like people <laughs> didn't take them. So he just kept taking them. Smart. So, so how many when, did he end up with? I don't know exactly. Um, but when I first got the ability to work from home, I'm like, the only reason I'm not working from home is because I only have the laptop and like, that's too much of a pain for me. Um, he's like, do you want me to give you a monitor? He's like, you're going to have to get cables for it. But if you get the cables for it, I will give you a monitor. And I was like, uh, yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> yep. And he gave it to me. I'm like, oh, that that's why you don't want to use these. I get it now. Is it a CRT? And then I started working from home. Uh, I'm sorry? Is it a CRT monitor? Um, I think it might be actually, yeah. If it's super thick, you would know. It's like a, like a 90s yeah. monitor. Mm, not quite that bad, but... Send, send me a picture. Um, uh, it's off to the side right now, so remind me to do that later. You have your phone, uh, don't it's in you? an area that I... Well, yeah, but it's going to be a weird picture because it's like to the side of my desk up against the wall because it's not being used. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I just want to see like, I, I want to see how deep it is because I have a feeling if it was a CRT monitor, it'd be a, a literal box. Apparently, I moved, so the picture did not come out clearly. Uh, (laughs) 
I don't know anything about Rebus. Do you? I know I know nothing. Cool. Me either. Okay, let me see. Oh, that's definitely not CRT. Yeah, that's just an older okay. monitor. CRT is, you know when you think of the classic 90s uh, monitor? That's that's a CRT. Mm -hmm. It's a sensor cathode ray tube, so it's where it projects onto the onto like glass. Gotcha. Yeah, you're so smart. I just know Novel things. Test. Okay, I think this one might work now. Because this time I got like the pop-up when I tried to click play. Okay. Still loading. So maybe I was wrong. Well, you're good. It's just Megan Olivi talking right now. So tell me your thoughts. What are you thinking? Planning for moving is still a pain in the neck. <laughs> yeah. When are you going again? I know you said you got the keys. Yeah, we got the keys, but we're probably going to wait like about two weeks until we actually move in. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Just because we are still leased here through August 3rd. So we have plenty of time. Mm, yeah, yeah. So we're mostly kind of like taking the time to like clean the place up and... um. Mal's not huge on the countertop, so we're going to try getting uh, using some contact paper to like try and redo the countertop so that way we like the way they look a little bit better. What um, what's contact paper? It's basically kind of like a kind of like a sticky paper essentially that you can kind of put down. So like it's like usually like kind of yeah, it's but it's like wallpaper specifically for countertops. <sighs> um, like they make stuff that's like marble, so that way it looks like you have marble countertops. Marble. That's Marble dope. columns. <laughs> yep. Let me uh, when when you do that. Let me see how it looks because if I get yeah. this house, the, I don't love the counters, but I don't want to like my money's going to go to the bathroom first before counters. But if I can just throw something on there to make it look a little nicer, all about it. I feel you. I feel you. Do you got it up? It's not loading yet. I just got Paige Van Zandt just went in. Amanda Rebus is walking, doing her walk now. Okay. God, they could both kick our asses like five times over. Oh, easily. For those that don't know, I am weak. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, I've held my own previously in like the one altercation that I got into. What fight was that? And it, oh, it was uh, it was in high school. It was a soccer game. Um, one guy like legitimately had like a screw loose, and it pretty much kind of just devolved into a brawl. Because uh, one guy on our team, um, one guy on our team was trying to do like the good guy thing and trying to break up the fight, uh -huh. and the kid that had the screw loose kind of took him down and stomped on his shoulder. Holy shit! Um, with cleats. Yeah, yeah. No, he he ended up having to get stretchered out and uh, with a separated shoulder. Fuck. Um. Yeah, so he went to the hospital, but he's literally like the nicest guy on the team. Um, Did I and uh, no, no, this was my club team, not with school ball. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, so kind of like lost his mind. The person uh, was Travis Madonna, who was the one who originally like got attacked by the guy. I don't know if you remember him. I remember the name. Uh, okay, yeah, and uh, it kind of just uh, this is for like, Dakota. As as I'm listening. Yeah. No, as soon as um, the kid like stomped on his shoulder, I like literally pulled him around and socked him once or twice. Good. And um, because I was just that mad. Um, yeah. He and he didn't end up pressing charges against the kid. I would have. I 100 percent would have. God. Okay, I'm gonna completely close the browser and just try again. Yeah, it's weird for me that these people are younger than us. Like just just Dude. by them being on TV in my head, they're like these like giant tall people, you know? Oh yeah, 
Yeah, like uh, the it, it honestly like pains me because you know how big of a soccer fan I am and stuff. Mm, yeah, so yeah. when I'm watching like soccer games, like there's legitimately a guy who plays for Manchester United, which is debatably one of the biggest clubs in the world. He's now scored, I think, 15 or 16 goals on the year, and he just turned 18. And I'm just kind of sitting there. I'm like, fuck you, man. Like, how are you that good? Like, at 18, I my left foot, like, I still couldn't even get the ball to go in a straight damn line. Yeah. Like, I mean, I guess if it's all you do and you're, you're bred from the beginning to do it. Yeah. It definitely changes things. Yeah. Yeah, Dakota. The uh, I went. There's a local liquor store that I go to, and the the dudes there are all super nice. And uh, just talking to the guy, and he said this is his go to like mid tier whiskey. So trying it out first time, very nice. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> I remember watching stuff at your place, and now it's just like God. Yeah, they're kids. In comparison, oh yeah, yeah. Also, Dakota, if you want to jump in here, you're more than welcome to sit in the Discord stream with us. I'll give you an invite if I haven't already. Also, Dakota, start playing WoW again. <laughs> we have uh, There's a new raid coming out in about two weeks, and I'm super pumped for it, but uh, we need more better people. And Dakota yeah, was like world caliber warrior. Okay, let's see. Okay, so the fight's starting right now. Just for anyone watching along, we are in the Amanda Ribas Paige Van Zant fight at 450 flat. 49, 48, 47. That's where you're at. My screen is still black. Yep. But I'll, I'll try to give commentary. I'm annoyed. This site has never, like, done me wrong before. Oh, you mean the pay-per-view that you paid for? Yes. The pay-per-view that I paid for has never never had issues with loading like it is right now. Uh, yeah, Dakota, send me... Send me a message and... Do, do I have... I mean, yeah, it's an old raid, but it's a new raid. New to me. Okay, let me get... I'll even give you special properties. Invite friends. Are we friends on Discord, Dakota? If not, I'll just I'll I'll text it to you. Okay, let me try to give my my amateur commentary. I don't want to. I'm tired. Paige Vinzant's on her back. She's like tiny as hell, isn't she? Yeah, they're like five three and five four, I think. Oof. So Reboss hat no. So Van Zant's on her back. Reboss is laying on her with her back. She has her in what looks like a headlock, almost. I'm clearly not a commentator. <laughs> yeah, we are both incredibly amateur fans of the UFC. Um. But I mean, who doesn't like people watching people beat the shit out of each other? You know. <laughs> I know. Did I? Okay, I heard the word armbar, so I'm gonna say that's an armbar. Oh I shit! Could... Reboss is like. So Reboss is on her back. Paige Van Zandt is between her legs with her face in her knee. It looks like she's trying to grab her arm for an armbar right now. She's mm. got it. Let's see if she taps. Ooh, can she flip? She tapped. Van Zant tapped. Yeah, Pat. Uh, Van Zant tapped. Damn, that was a quick one. Okay, it's like it just came up on my side, and now it's loading again. I gotta give Dakota permissions. That was good. Like, do I try and reload it again? Now that I finally got picture? Yeah, fuck it. Oh, I can't even... I can't go into Discord here.
One thing that's going to be true is Shay is going to be so excited about this new apartment, dude. Yo, Dakota, what's up? What up? Uh, give me one second. I'm trying to fix my headset. Cool, cool. Go ahead and... Uh, what's up, man? I haven't phone. talked to you in like... Yeah. Man, if you can turn your audio up a little bit too, that'd be dope. How has is, how is Van Zandt done in her past couple fights? I feel like she hasn't fought in forever. I I think she was doing like Dancing with the Stars and stuff at some point. Was she really? Yeah, I, I saw some interview with her talking about how she makes so much more money doing non-fighting things. That like she clearly, I mean, she's doing it for the love of fighting. So for this, she only made like $50,000. Honestly, some of the money that I hear that the fighters end up making off of some of these fights, it just, like, upsets me. Like, I wish that they made more money sometimes just because of the fact that I'm like, you're risking permanent brain damage oh, and yeah. potential injury to make 40 grand. Like, your hospital bills could be more than that. I mean, they have to pay for their own camps, too. Mm-hmm. Like guys like Masvidal and Usman and stuff like that, they're making a lot more money off of each fight, guaranteed. Yeah, they're fine. Oh, and like people gone. like McGregor, like, I mean, he basically tells Dana what to pay him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's he's the biggest pull. Yeah, that sucks. I feel bad for her. Oh, is it Hebus? I guess it. I mean, it depends on. <clears throat> I'm assuming, based on the fact that she was wearing yellow trunks, she's Brazilian, so it definitely would make sense for that to be the pronunciation of it. Yeah, that's just the way. 101? No way. Her MMA record? Where did she fight 100 fights? How old is she? Is she, is she Keanu Reeves? <laughs> she, she might be a vampire. Yeah, she. it sounds like she's Brazilian. But good for her, though. I mean, it's shown here that she's 9-1. I wonder if it's a... Uh, if it was an error. Like, they typed in 10, Maybe. like 100 instead of 10. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> they just put it back up and it's 10-1. to 1. Okay. I was gonna say, damn, she looks great for 132. <laughs> yeah, for being an ancient warrior. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, my screen is now frozen on Anik trying to interview her, and she looks like she's crying. Yeah, she was. Yeah, I could see her like it's showing a replay right now of the armbar and Paige Van Zandt tried to flip over to get out of it, but she just couldn't make it, so her neck. Was squished up against the floor. She's got that armbar. That's the thing, man. Is as soon as that armbar gets ex fully extended and your elbow bends back, like it's you're not pulling. If it. you can't, yeah. If you can't, if you can't flip yourself around quick, you just tap because otherwise you're breaking your arm. Mm -hmm. Like, up. Uh, mine froze too. Stupid paid for streams. I know. I got my parents' um, cable login, so now I can watch F1 on the weekends. So my sports are covered. So wait, F1 like is in Formula One racing? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that you watched that. Yeah, it's fairly new. So um, there we go. I'm back. Uh, Tyler, Taylor, that group, they got me into it because Drive to Survive. Have you ever watched that? No. <clears throat> so it's... um. It like dramatizes the previous season. So they do a docudrama for like season 2019 and then they release it before 2020. So you get to mm -hmm. kind of understand everything that happened and, and like un understand the characters better. It's pretty okay. neat. But I would definitely recommend it. And if you feel like watching it, we have a, uh, a pick em that we do every week. So you'd be welcome to join. Cool, cool. 
I might be interested in that. I just have to uh, try and devote the time to it. That's the only thing. Yeah. I like it because there's only 20 people I have to care about and there's like 10 teams. So it's it's super easy for me to break it down. You know? Fair enough. It's not like football where there's, what, 16, 20 teams? NFL? Yeah. 32. Yeah, that's what I meant. 32. I was thinking per division. <laughs> uh, yeah, so 32... And then there's so many players on each one. It's just overwhelming. So who do you got, Nama Nunez, Andraj? Uh, I'll try and take a look here at the stats. <clears throat> on, I think I'm going to go ahead and go with Rose. She's got the height advantage, the reach advantage. I, I I could go with Rose. Cool, me too. I'm I just love Rose. She was the the first time I ever bet on a UFC fight. It was on Rose, and she won. So forever, oh, yeah. a special place in my heart. All right, Dakota. I'm trying to figure out how to pull you down right now. I don't know how I was able to do it so seamlessly before. Oh, sweet. Israel made the uh, cover. Yeah, it's uh, Israel and uh, Masvidal. That seems right. And then I guess if you pre-order it, um, not that I would care about it, but you could get um, uh, Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury as playable uh, fighters. (laughs) That's cool. They're not in the UFC. Hey, what's oh, was either Yo, Dakota. Can you hear me better now or no? Yeah, this is perfect. Awesome, awesome. I was going to try and see if I could set my computer up, get my webcam rolling here in a second. Oh, hell yeah. Let me... Uh... Yeah, you can do video if you want. I just saw your text. You don't have to, but... <clears throat> All right, we can check it out. I was trying to hook up my... Apparently, when you use Discord online, or like on mobile... It won't allow you to use like your wireless headphones. Like I got Beats wireless headphones. Mm-hmm. It wasn't letting me run them for some reason. Weird. All right, I, I'm sending you uh, a thing. So check Facebook when you get a chance. <sighs> Sorry, I take another shot of Patron here. <laughs> Classic. What's up, Mike? How you been, dude? Dude, hanging in there, man. Long time. Uh, it's been what years? Years. Yeah. Yeah, when's the yeah, last time you, sure. you saw each other? Shit, man, I haven't seen Mike. When were we in high school, man? Like Avon, <laughs> the graduation, your graduation. Didn't you come visit the? Uh, what, what was the neighborhood we lived in, Mike? Senior year of oh, college. When we were in, uh, when we were in Avalon Park. Avalon, yeah. Did did you you came to that? Didn't you? No, last time I went and visited you, I was you were living in that new place in Orlando. I came when you were a what are they called RN or what or not RN? Oh RA. Yeah, the RA. I came over to your house and you were or your place and you were an RA. And then um, the last time I went, I don't even think you were in college anymore, bro. Yeah. Did you did you see the uh, the place that I was living at with uh, Brinley and Alyssa? Yes, that's okay. the one. I was I was gonna end up moving there, but you know, life was a little bit. Uh, different than anticipated so yeah it all, it all changed up but, it always yeah, is, that man. Place is sweet <laughs> what's that mike what if i had a dollar for every time that happened <laughs> yeah straight up all right <laughs> yo i'm uh i'm trying to buy a house i don't know if i told you that already yeah that's what you're telling me man that's pretty exciting yeah just put in an offer today so we'll see we'll see what happens See if I can't download Discord on this Mac real quick. I believe in you. Dude, I had a... My Alienware is so old, bro. Yeah, you bought that like 2010? Damn, dude. Yeah, I've been been running that thing to the ground. 
you know, the perfect way to uh, dig it into the ground even more? Um, light it on fire? On Courage. <laughs> AQ? Yep. Yeah, man, I haven't... Uh... God, it's just such a commitment getting back into classic, especially like all my other characters are max level and stuff. But having to go through and actually level my characters again sounds brutal in yeah. classic. I, I did it once. Yeah. Well, like I said, I'll help you out with it. All right. Let me see if I can make this happen. All right. Oh, sh- I got to slow down on my drinking. I did not eat dinner. Oh, I didn't <laughs> eat shit either. Man, you're a couple hours behind me, though. You got time to make up for it. Oh, yeah. It's only 8.30 right now. I got to go give some uh, paint to a friend of mine soon. You have to give paint to a friend of yours soon? Yeah, so a friend of mine lives in Colorado Springs, and she needed to... Like, they didn't have the paint that they needed in Colorado Springs, so her boss sent her to Denver. And we went to go pick it up today, and then I dropped her off at her friend's place, and she just forgot it. So I have to, she's going to stop by before they drive back. Wait, did you, oh, he left again. I'm just going to clear, try clearing my cash and cookies to see if that helps. Oh, it's still not going? Yeah, mine's just sucking hardcore right now. Do, do, do. Like it's the thing is, it, keeps, it like loads. It'll play like five seconds of it, and then it'll just go back to like buffering. Weird. How's your uh, your download? Uh, Dakota, you're See. muted right now. He'll figure it out. Is Andrade Native American? Uh, I think Andrade is Brazilian. She had an... I was getting a PC set up. She had what looked like a Native American headdress on, so I wasn't sure. Yeah. ESPN showing her as being Brazilian. Hmm. Maybe it's like a local Brazilian thing could be god rose is so fast has it started already no they're still just doing the hype reel beforehand okay cool oh yeah she's she's gotta be brazilian yeah. Yeah, now it just seems like nothing on my side is loading. Oh, you have. Well, I mean, Discord's working. Oh, God, I remember that. God, I. Oh. They're replaying that the last time these two fought where Andrage picked her up, slammed her on her head. Oof. Oh, oh that's Dakota. Okay. I thought I just lost you. What up? Yo! Still waiting on video. I'm a goddamn animal. I'm just still... I'm even trying to run a speed test and it's just like not doing anything. Is it your internet or is it the... uh, You're watching it. I'm not sure. Because, I mean, Discord's working perfectly fine. Are you on uh, 2.4 or 5G? Uh, let's see. 5G. 5. Oh, fuck it. Maybe try. Hey, what's up? What up? God, you look like an adult man now. With your like little that, bit man. of mustache. Oh, Lord. I gotta find somewhere to set this shit up at. I should have thought about this before I even tried to decide that I would hop on this. But, you know, whatever. You live and you learn. Yeah, it's it's a casual thing. 
Still deciding if I actually am going to make this into a podcast or not. You did a uh, another podcast. Don't you have another podcast that you do on occasion? It's all the same one. So it's just like the junk drawer show is kind of morphed over time. Mm-hmm. And right now it's been me and uh, Justin writing a movie. That's been the majority of it. And then my friend was a, uh, before she moved here from Long Island, she was a beekeeper. So I did a podcast with her on like bees and shit, you know? Like Colorado would be a little bit better of a place to be a beekeeper than Long Island. Yeah. Well, she worked on a farm there and now she works for a paint company. So there's no bees in a paint company. Be good then, or what's that? What's up? Can you hear me or not? Uh, it goes. It was going in and out, but I can hear you now. <laughs> All right. So Rose is getting the Vaseline rubbed on her face. That's how you know it's go time. Mm-hmm. I'm going to just go ahead and close Twitch because that's one of the things that I had going. Oh, true. So maybe getting rid of that will help because I was working pretty well until that came in. So, Gotcha. Wait, so this is an, this is an Abu Dhabi, not Fight Island? Well, no, Fight Island is Abu Dhabi. Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah. I'm just a little bit upset because like they were advertising it like it was just going to be like a ring in the middle of the sand. And I was like, that's going to look so dope. And then it's like, no, we put it in an arena. I was like, then why do you get my hopes up? Like, well, they get off. They get off on being withholding. Yeah. Yo, I saw um, King of Staten Island last night. Have you seen that yet? How was it? It was good. I, not, I, I really liked it. By the end, I'm like, maybe I should be a firefighter. So we'll see what happens in the next 15 years of my life. Could be part of your life. It could be. I could volunteer for a firefighter. What's up? Should be a firefighter, man. You work like three days on. You can still have your normal job. Right? I'm not against it. But the whole time. Right now, I'm going to try to be a real estate mogul. That's my first step. And then I'll be a firefighter. Mogul, firefighter, web developer, podcaster, movie writer. Man, you're just, you're tacking them on. I'm a renaissance man. Respect it. If, uh, so. Can I comment on how long your fucking hair is now? Dude, it's so fucking long. (laughs) It's out of my nips. Oh, I, I never saw him anything like that growing up. You know what I mean? He like, never had hair. I mean, I guess in middle school you had a little bit longer hair, but it still wasn't as long as mine was back in middle school. Yeah, I think yours in middle school was about like, or not. here, like to about the neck level. Yo, I'm, I'm waiting yeah. for like, I'm trying to donate it, but with COVID and everything, it's hard to find a, a spot that's doing like haircuts. I think Ooh, if I sent you a pair of buzz cut, like a buzzers, I think you could just cut it all out down to the scalp, you know, and just send it to somebody. They'll make it happen. <laughs> nah, dude. What I'm trying to do is I, so until my hairline gets like grotesque, I'm just going to keep cutting off whatever it is and just be like a hair farm to donate. Hair farm? Yeah. You just plant that in the ground and start growing it? I didn't know it was that easy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. <laughs> it's science, man. Yeah. God, read a fucking book. It's dude. gotta be. I mean, plant shit, it grows. I mean, that isn't that, isn't that how it works? I think so. All right. So you, do, do you have a backup, guys? Both of you? I do. Bruce Buffer's in introducing uh, Rose right now. Yep. What about you, Dakota? I'm trying to get mine set up here. One okay. second. Oh, no. I just got buffering. Okay, it's back. Oh. <laughs> got nervous. Yeah, he's now now got on. I, think I might just. I just pay for him putting on my TV. You could do that. Way <laughs> easier. 
It is, but it's also way more expensive. Yeah. <laughs> but also, we have also paid for it and have a very... I paid for all of it. Yeah. yeah. We're using my ESPN Plus account. Everything's above board. Absolutely. I just think it's easier for a ESPN account. Go through my TV, it'd probably be a little bit easier. He is not a referee that I am familiar with. Mm -mm. <clears throat> come on, Rose. Oh. oh, come on, Devin. Couldn't you get here earlier? She said she's six minutes away. <laughs> I'm going to have to fucking run downstairs. Oh, mine just started buffering. God damn it. I'm going to leave it right now, though. Did yours come back in pretty quick? Yeah, yeah. I'm up now. So Nami Yunez and they're, they're just feeling each other out right now. Kind of hopping around the, the ring. <clears throat> okay, Andrade, she is real quick with the head movements. Holy yeah, crap. she's bobbing around constantly. See, I wish I, I wish I knew more of what to say because I would turn on the announcer voice and start saying stuff, but I'm just going to mumble over myself if I do that. I think it would be more interesting considering you don't know what you're saying if you were to turn on the announcer voice. Fair point. Yeah, she's really giving her a hard time right now. Hold on, let me listen to Bisping more. But as I say, when the head's moving like that, you can't something. I don't know. I can't hear multiple things at once. Yeah, I have the volume for the commentary real low, so I can like barely hear it right now. Yeah. They're not but, doing yeah. much. Yeah, basically what Bisbing said is when the head's moving like that, it's hard to find, which Ooh. is true. Yep. Oof. God. Those are some weird movements coming from Andrade. Like they're effective, yeah. but she's she's like sliding in with her hip. Ooh. Ooh. Taking a couple hit, hits there from Rose. She's opening up the face. Is she bleeding already? Can't tell. See, that's like one of those fighting styles that I'm just not huge on. Because it's kind of similar to uh, Dominic Cruz, where you're just like moving really, really fast the whole time, but you keep your hands down low. And like you're kind of just hoping that your own quickness and movements and reflexes can stop yourself from getting hit. Yeah, like you have to have a strong chin and it has to be a short fight or your cardio has to be absolutely insane. And that's what it was for Dominic Cruz for the longest time is his cardio was just unreal. Yeah. And wh where do you stand with that stoppage? I know we talked about it the in his last fight. I remember we talked about it. I felt like the stoppage was a little early, but at the same time, like, because that was the one against Cejudo, right? Yep. Yeah, I felt like the stoppage was a little bit early, but at the same time, he was kind of getting it laid on him hard. So, like... I probably would have stopped it there too if I was an official because it didn't really seem like he was doing a whole lot to try and like defend himself. Yeah, maybe I like if I have, I, I think you're right that he wasn't doing a lot to defend himself, but if I remember correctly, he was shimmying in a position to get up and with there only being, I think there was like 10 seconds left in the round. There wasn't a lot. I think yeah, he, he should have been given the chance. I still think Cejudo would have won because he was kind of dominating throughout the rest of the fight but well, it's like, fuck, man. Just dominant. <laughs> oh he's so good but but seriously give give them a chance to finish up the fight in a championship match it's not like it's just a normal fight i'm curious to see if they're going to be able to get cejudo back or not i don't like i don't think so like why just go out on top <laughs> Well, that's the thing is, I mean, he retired, but obviously it seems like part of what his retirement is, is more so a contract negotiation. Oh, does it seem that way? That's what a lot of people were kind of commenting, because I mean, at the same time, Cejudo's only what, like 
28, 29? I think so. I mean, he could He's still, still young as far as a fighter goes. But I think he Well, could... that in... Uh... Go ahead. Just one other bit to it is um, like immediately um, immediately after his like retirement, mm-hmm. he uh, showed up at All Elite Wrestling, um, the company that's like competing with WWE. And he like came to the ring along with Mike Tyson. So <laughs> that's great. Uh, See, like one of those things where there might be he might be trying to use that as, you know, hey, wrestling wants me to come and be a character for them. You know, they're going to offer me X amount of dollars. Dana White, what can you do? I think I think he should do that. I mean, he's he's clearly proven that he's a great fighter at his weight class. But why yeah. why not do something where he's not going to be taking shots to the head? You know? Yeah. I mean, I still like watching wrestling. So like. All right. Round one just ended for me. Yep. Same. Cool, good. We're at the same time. Where are you at, Dakota? They're getting Vaseline up. Cool. Do you watch oh, so UFC? Much, much, man. I, you know, I watch a lot of the title fights and stuff. But other than that, like those main fights. But other than that, I, I wish I watched it more. I wish I knew more about it, honestly. Well, we got three title fights tonight. Yeah. So that's well, why this card's such a big deal. We can uh, we can pull you into our UFC group chat. You can start to learn that way. Yeah, I wish that we had Pat here as well. Pat's very knowledgeable of it. Yeah, but he's got some stuff going on. So Pat, we love you, man. I don't know if you're watching. You're probably not, but uh, here if you need us, and we love you and yep. enjoy. You know, taking the night off and clearing your head about stuff. Yep, we love you. You're in our thoughts. And yep. uh, this one's for you. This little drink here. So you just taking shots, Dakota? Uh yeah, I was drinking some uh some coronas earlier too. But nice. just kind of winding the uh winding the night down. What'd you get up to today? I went over, took my daughter over to a uh friend of ours house. It was her birthday, so we hung out, chilled in the pool and stuff, and then we uh just chilled at the house, man. Nice. A lot of uh Used to going out doing a lot, you know. Just that shows how of, long. Uh, didn't know that you were a dad. <laughs> yeah, I got a two-month-old daughter. Oh damn, man! Yeah, little one. What's her name? I don't think he heard me because there's no way you forgot. <laughs> 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 You there? Well, she has no name. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he's gone. Shit. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pull him back in. Yeah, no, dude, it's it's wild. Like Dakota having yeah. a daughter now. Us all being like adults. Ooh. Trying to go for a flying knee there, just missed it. Yeah, it seems like Andrade. Oh, it is Andrade. I thought it was Andrade. Well, they're they pronouncing it Andrade. I always thought it was Andrade, but that's also there's a very there's a famous wrestler in WWE named Andrade. So <laughs> my my brain doing that. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like Andrade is slowing down a little bit. She's still doing the head bobs, but they're not nearly as as Dominic Cruz like as before. Ooh. So I'm going to say Nami Yunez is kind of slowing, like just letting her burn herself out. Oh. That's the thing is when things kind of move like that. So I don't, who did, who did you give the, the first round to? Oh, there, she's here. I'll be right back. Cool. <clears throat> so to answer his question, uh, while we're waiting for them to come back. I think Rose probably won the first round, but they're both just swinging on each other right now. Looks like Andrade has a little bit of a nosebleed going right now. Ooh. 
Big jumping knee right there. She slipped on the landing, but damn. Okay, so Rose's corner is yelling at her that it's all day. Very, very vocal about it being all day. Yeah, I kind of agree with what Bisping's saying there. I don't know if you guys... Anyone that's watching is watching along with the fight too. Bisping saying how the corner from Rose has been reacting. And honestly, I agree 100%. Rose's corner has been just like so helpful and positive. That's the kind of shit that I think a fighter wants to be hearing the entire time is like, let them go ahead and keep swinging. You got this. Okay. I don't know. I think I think Rose still has the first two rounds. <clears throat> Can't say for certain, but I would probably score the first two rounds to Rose this far. Ugh. If Andrade's corner really thinks that she won both of those rounds, I just, I don't know that I see that, especially considering the amount of head strikes that Rose has landed. Because <clears throat> I feel like Rose is parrying so many hits, you know? Thank you. 
feel bad that Josh had to run away during this fight because I know this is one of his ones that he was excited for. He's a big fan of Rose. Looks like, yeah, Rose got opened up a little bit on the nose. Oh, good, good job getting out of that cover-up. Ooh, big shot. Man, they're swinging. Okay, about a minute left. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, so... Ooh, yeah, naturally, round three has been the one that you're missing. Was it a pretty big one? Uh, it's still going on right now. I'm at 42 seconds to go. I got 27. Okay, so you're a little ahead of me. Oh, that's... Ooh, nose, bro. Rose's nose is bleeding. Yeah, rough. her nose has got... Yeah, she got uh, hit with an uppercut. Yeah, she just got hit with another... <clears throat> who are you giving it to I think Rose has the first two rounds I think round three might be going to Andrade it just end on your screen yep right. yeah re refresh it to see if oh wow her eye is so swollen Uh, yeah. refre refresh your stream and see if it gets closer to mine, and then I'll do the same. I'm not gonna risk. Uh, I'm not gonna risk it not loading again. Oh, yeah, fair. her eyes fucking closed right now. I have to pee though, so I'm gonna be right back. Okay, we'll trade off. Yeah, I just wanted to wait for you to get back. <laughs> yeah, so it's a bit of a bummer that I missed the Rose fight because I've I've been a huge fan of Rose since I started watching UFC, but uh. It'll make this even more suspenseful. Wow. It'll make it even more suspenseful. I cannot fucking talk today. Suspenseful. To find out if she wins or not. Mike's got Rose on the first two, maybe the last one to Andrage. But I honestly, I really wasn't paying attention for the first two rounds because I was just trying to get Dakota in the in the stream here. But we'll find out. Yeah. Damn. That was a quick bathroom. Yeah, well there there's a bathroom literally in this room. I know, but you just like must have barely peed. That's how it goes sometimes. <laughs> yeah, so Rose Rose definitely had the advantage all rounds, except for the last one for total strikes. Uh, I see the headdress now, considering that was uh... a... <clears throat> 
Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give it 29-28 to Rose. Ooh, split decision. Okay, you're ahead of me, so... I want to react. Tell me when I can react. Can I react? There you go. Hey, yeah. she did it. My girl, <laughs> Thug Rose, what's up? <laughs> she definitely got roughed up in round three, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I'm glad she made it out on top. Yeah, See, look at that fucking swelling on that eye, man. It's it's rough. Oh shit, we got hot local mom in the chat. What's up? Oh, hot local mom's chilling with us. Oh damn. Yeah, so I I uh I did a little monologue before, so it's your turn for a monologue because I need to eat something. Oh, I did a monologue the entire time you were gone before. Oh, you get another one. You're good at talking. Oh man. That's that's an. He's given me a lot more credit than I deserve. Uh, I'm okay. I'm okay at talking. So next up should be the first title fight of the night, which is Jan Aldo. Uh, I'm gonna be straight. I'm going uh, Peter Yan all the way. I do not like Jose Aldo, so I'm uh, I'm super pumped to hopefully see him get his ass kicked. Oh yeah, now she's doing the interview. You can see how bad that eye looks. Yeah, God, is hematoma the right word? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, let me know if if I'm gonna eat some leftover Chipotle. If you okay. if you hear the chewing, let me know. You're good, man. I can hear you. Oh damn! You see that cut on her nose? Mm-hmm. She's got a big old gash. God. Yeah, it's a deep gash on her nose and then just that huge hematoma under her eye. For sure. I do think it's so funny or, I don't know, ironic how violent she is, but then in her non-fighting life, she's like, planting flowers and doing gardening and oh for real like soup oh yeah she's she's very much a hippie <laughs> strawweight champion that's the um the Chinese one, right? Yeah. Um, Wei Li. Uh, Wei Li. Yeah, Wei Li Zhang, I think. Or Zhang yeah, Wei Yeah, I was not certain of her name. Yeah. I still haven't watched that fight, but I heard it was incredible. Her and uh, Yoana Young Jigchek. Yeah, the it. Polish, Polish yeah. pulverizer. That's probably not her nickname, but I'm giving it to her. You could be in marketing. Or could be. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going all in on Peter Yan here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I mean, when's the last time that uh, Aldo won? I don't know. I think he, I'm pretty sure he's on like a three fight losing streak. So that's why I don't understand why he got this interim title fight. I think because it's a name. I guess it's not interim. I mean, I guess it's not interim because this is for the title that was vacated by uh, by Cejudo, right? Yes, I think so. Because Aldo's a smaller dude. Oh, 
I don't know. I've just never liked Aldo. <clears throat> as a fighter or as a person? Yes. <laughs> Both. Well, no, because he's a very cocky fighter, mm. which is why it was hilarious that McGregor knocked him out so fast. Because, like, McGregor obviously is a lot of talk, and that's part of what makes him, like, such a good selling point for the UFC. Mm-hmm. Um, but, like... And then he backs it up, too. Uh, that's the thing, is how incredibly dismissive Aldo was. Aldo didn't think he deserved anything. Aldo is just like, he sucks, pretty much, like, during the build-up to that. And uh, for him just to be like, he doesn't deserve to be in the same ring as me at all, and then for him to just get his knocked out in 10 seconds it was just one of those things where i was like oh that felt good <laughs> like, <laughs> and i wonder how I mean, much of it is a character too true true i was very much like on the mcgregor hype train at that point too uh because that was obviously mcgregor's first like title win mm. so being that much like about mcgregor at that point i was like all like hell yeah i want him to win Dude, I'm I'm so bummed I didn't get into UFC until after um GSP was out. Oh yeah. Like I got that one fight, him versus Bisping, which was awesome. But mm-hmm. like looking at old fights, he was so good. Oh yeah. He was dope. I'm having loading issues. Yeah, me too. So how much would you have to get paid to get into a ri- into the octagon with anyone on this card? Is the money that I would be getting from it um would that include like would I still have to pay my own medical bills out of pocket? Mm. Let's say medical bills are all covered. How much money would you have to make to deal with the pain? That's a tough one. You have you have a three month camp to prepare. Am I already in better shape than I am right now? No, it's you who you are now. You have three months from now. Okay. You don't have to work. Your job will like be there when you get back. So you can spend okay. three months just learning to fight, just getting fit. And, like, when it comes to, like, the weight class and everything like that, that's just, like, adjusted. Because there's no way I can cut down to featherweight or flyweight or anything like that. You would would have to fight at whatever weight you can get down to. Okay. So if you wanted to try to make weight and get down to whatever, you could do that. But, like, clearly you're not going to fight, like, heavyweight because you would die. I would die. That is correct. Yes. Which stinks, because that's where I would have to fight at right now, given current weight restrictions. You would lose so much weight if you if you were training nonstop for three months, though. Oh, for sure. You boy'd be shredded. Mm-hmm. But with that being said, um, oof. man, that's such a tough question. Because it also depends who you were fighting against. Exactly. Like, if you were fighting Rose, she would still kick your ass, but the amount of damage that she can do compared to Kamaru is, <laughs> is so yeah, different. Yeah, I'm going to tell you right now that out of them two in the main event, neither. Um, no. <laughs> there's not an amount of money for me to get hit by either one of them. Um, <laughs> no, thank you. I will g- gladly decline that money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, But one oh. of the smaller guys, yeah. Let, one of the smaller guys. Let's say oh, Peter Yon. Let's say Peter Yon. Okay. Hmm. Because he's like what five? He's about your height, right? He might be a little bit shorter than me. I'm trying to judge based on the the fence, but I have no idea what his height is. 
Let me see. Let me see. Okay, no, Jan's about my height, 5'7". Okay. But I got a solid 115 pounds on Jan. 115? <laughs> what are you at now? Yeah, he's a bantamweight, dude. He weighs 135. Oh, damn. I didn't realize you were up that high anymore. I thought you would drop down. Yeah, it sucks. Well, I did, and then the gym's closed <clears throat> and put it right back, so. Oh, yeah. Is what it is. But Mal got her negative test, so I'm comfortable going back to the gym again that's good so yeah dude it's scary when that happens i'm glad she's good though yeah yeah usman and masvidal are six foot and five eleven respectively mm -hmm. volkanovsky's five foot six yeah he's short he weighed like 240 when he played oh. uh rugby Oh, okay. In New Zealand, he was like 240. It is, it's insane. Oof. Yeah, let's see. How much money would it take for you to get in the ring with Jan? 100,000. That would be, I, I would right, be. That's right what I was thinking. Like a hundred thousand. I mean, I honestly probably less, but a hundred thousand. That's yeah. that's over a year's salary. That's enough that I could pay off all my debts and then just like kind of be set. And I think with three months, I could learn enough that I wouldn't get demolished. I wouldn't win by any stretch, but be able to like kind of defend myself. Yeah, because that's really what you need is to be able to either defend yourself or just say fuck it, knock me out quick. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah, I would just want to not be knocked out. And I, I would say to make it reasonable, it's a three-round fight, no tap-outs. So, like, you could obviously get into that position, but let's say it has to still be kind of a standing match, or if you get into yeah, a tapping yeah. position, you just have to reset and keep going. Gotcha. Dude, that uh what is it what, what's that band called something cowboy called call boy oh, es es eskimo call boy. eskimo call yeah. boy their two songs like their top two on spotify have been stuck in my head for the past week it's hypa hypa and what is it mc thunder? thunder no mc thunder uh, mc thunder yeah i literally driving back earlier tonight i listened to hypa hypa again it's, it's so, so fucking catchy man hypa hypa and you're hilarious. pretty and alive girl no dude it's good well the, and the music video was so funny for me like i thought it was hilarious yeah have you seen the mc thunder one yeah i have <laughs> just driving around in the cadillac <laughs> Craig just uh, is in a group chat with me and Pat and Pat said like Aldo got this title fight based on his name. That's it, which I 100% agree. And then Craig just said, has Aldo been anything since Connor turned his switch to off? <laughs> <laughs> and realistically, no. <clears throat> God, look at his back. And thing is, I'm looking at it right now, dude. And I'm like looking at it like he's the number six ranked fighter in this weight class to me like you should not be you should not be getting a title fight at that yeah who who are the other people in the the division right now see, so Bant bantam weight right i think so yeah so uh marlon Moraes is number one aljamain sterling is ranked two jan is three Garbrandt is four. Sandhagen is five. Aldo is six. So Garbrandt Dominic just, Cruz is at 12. Garbrandt just fought, right? Yeah. And, and Aljamain, O'Malley is at 14. He's only at 14? He was unranked going into that last fight that he had. Oh, really? I mean, he's been doing a great job. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, because Gar Garbrandt and Sterling were both on the last card. That's what it was. Okay, because uh, it was St Sterling fought Soundhagen, I believe, and Garbrandt fought a Sunsau. Is it Sunsau's uh, rank? When is I thought Sterling was fighting again soon. I'm not sure if he's on a card coming up soon, but he definitely won his fight in the first round, if I remember correctly. Hmm. I'm just very happy that they didn't like, you know, go ahead and uh, the main event tonight. I'm just happy that they didn't give it to Covington. Oh, yeah. Well, he lost the last fight. Yeah, but, I mean, just because he lost the last fight doesn't mean that he doesn't think that he deserved a rematch versus Usman. Oh, that's right. He it said was Usman. It was pretty close. Yeah. Yeah, I think getting Masvidal oh, to fight is a better back play. For... What's that? Uh, it's, it's a moneymaker, man. Masvidal is a good, is a better name. Like, because yeah. Covington's just heated by everybody. He's a heel. Like, yeah, 100%. Okay, so we're going to need the rest of UFC 252 to fill out. Is it not Because I think that... Well, no, because that's going to be the next one that we do this for, for sure. Which is... Uh, main event is Miocic Cormier. Oh, shit. That's right. Cormier is still a person who fights. For yep. one more fight. Let's see. Qatar, Ig, Tim Elliott. Stamen is coming up again. He just fought, too. I'm just, like, looking through some of the other ones. Okay, so Fight Night, Figueroa, Benavidez, flyweight title fight. Got Gastelum on that card. Who did he fight? Was it Israel? He fought someone who he was, like, his reach was shit against. I'm not sure. I want to say it was Adesanya. Maybe. Ooh, on the 25th, Wardoom versus Gustafson. That might be a good fight. You said that's the 25th? Yeah, that's just a fight night, though. That's the main event easier. is uh, Robert, Robert Whitaker, Darren Till. I'm about that. And then, okay. <laughs> oh, we're teaching Craig so many things. <laughs> What are you teaching him? Uh, he's like, uh, cause he asked if Aldo's been the, been anything since Connor turned the switch to off. I said, Nope, not at all. And Pat said, no way. Connor took away the con took away that confidence. He took his soul. And then, uh, Craig said, I'd be surprised if that guy Masvidal destroyed isn't, isn't forever affected Ben something. And then Pat just said, yeah, he's retired. <laughs> yeah. It was Ben Askren. Yeah, what is he? What's he doing now? I don't know. I had a couple times where it stopped to buffer, so Bruce Buffer is literally just announcing the fight right now. Same, right now the shots on Jose. Same. Yeah, I think we're on the same spot. He's also, announcing the judgment. Yeah, add add me into that group chat because we have two different UFC chats right now. It's owing Peter Yawn right now. Yeah. Yeah, he's introducing Aldo currently. Oh, he's introducing Yawn for me now. Mm. Let me do a refresh. How do I add you into this? I don't know. Does everyone have an no. iPhone? Yes. Oh, no. Maybe I shouldn't have refreshed.
Okay, there we go. All right, right now they're facing off. Where are you at right now? Touch gloves. Yeah, they're, I'm, I'm still further back than that. Okay. Let me try refreshing. And hope it doesn't backfire. God, I wish we had Craig in here too. Like on stream. Okay, he just pulled, the ref just pulled them together. Yeah, they're fighting right now for me. Yeah, I'm at 4.45. It's a weird way to say it. To say what? Just sounds weird. He's got a lot of fight left in the dog. <laughs> Just sounds like a funny phrase. Something tells me that's not what he meant to say. Yeah. <laughs> I always love whenever the commentators curse hits. When they curse? Oh, no, no. The commentator curse. Like whenever the commentator says something and it kind of, they're immediately disproved right after they say it. Oh, yeah, yeah. So like Bisping is like Jan's a much more of a fighter, and then Jan throws a head kick, and then Bisping's like, okay, or he does that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, ooh, got a good shot there. Yeah, he landed a solid shot on Aldo. I can't tell if it sounds like they have more people in the audience now, or if I've just gotten used to there not being that roaring crowd. I don't know. I wish you were here more for the Rose fight because her corner, like, oh, that's her, her corner is the corner that I want in a fight. Like, they were so positive with her the whole time. Like, it was just like everything that I would hope to be hearing from someone trying to hype me up in a fight. Like, yeah, I mean, her, is it husband or boyfriend? I don't know. I don't know. Her person. I mean, you got to hype him up then. Oh, for sure. This is a hard one. So far, I feel like Aldo's yeah. kind of taking it. <clears throat> I mean, Jan's definitely got the harder shots in, but that leg kick knockdown is definitely going to be something that's going to help Aldo as far as the scoring goes. Yeah, he's going for it again. Yeah. How much well, does it hurt Brazilian... to miss a kick like that? How much does it hurt? Yeah, like physically. Because I imagine a punch like that kind of like, you're not connecting, so you, that like... Ugh, that throw has got to feel kind of weird for a jab, not a hook. Well, the, the thing is with the, the arm is like, yeah, you have that, that extension, but with a kick like that, you, you're really just kind of throwing your body weight. So it, uh, missing a kick doesn't really hurt anything. It's just more so making sure that you don't like, you, you make sure you have your rotation proper and stuff like that. Cause otherwise like, you could throw off your equilibrium and fall if you're not well balanced, I guess. Yeah, or you could just have your back to your opponent. Yeah, which is why you always see when they whiff, they turn around so quickly is because obviously if you whiff on a kick, you're going to over-rotate. I feel like they're both pretty stiff. Ooh, jab, got him a little bit. Good Aldo kick, taking Jan right. off balance. Yeah, those, yeah it, that's those Brazilian leg kicks, man. Yeah, Aldo's fast. He, he always has been. It's like by the time I realized Ooh. something happened, he's Ooh, he connected. Clipped. Yeah, he clipped him. Ooh. Good body kick from Jan. Ooh, okay. All right, Aldo's on his back. Yep. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> so Jan definitely got a cheeky one in there. Yeah. Oh, so you can't sit on the neck? No. Oh, this is this is a yawn round. Oh, for sure, it is now. Body Armor Sports Drinks. So I'm going to give that one to Yawn. Because yeah, I think they had think, they both had one big shot, but the, the end was just 30 seconds of domination. It, it, whatever it was, it was he hit him with a shot in the stomach while he was down, and that's what opened him up to do all of that. Oh, really? It's like, I don't know if he got him with like a kidney shot or what it was. <laughs> Thank you, John Anik, for letting me know that publishing this is illegal. That's why we're not publishing it. Nope, no publishing at all here. Cool, let's see if we can get Craig in here. Yeah, that'd be tight. I feel like Jose Aldo's cup is overcompensating. Yeah, it looks like it's uh, a little shifted right now. <laughs> Like I just looked it up like that's so necessary, my guy. That's one hundred percent over his thigh right now. <laughs> it looks like his thigh has a tumor. <laughs> but like a sexy tumor. It's a wang tumor. Uh Cejudo's tweeting about it. Oh Triple Stephen C. Thompson saying broken rib mark. On He's who? got a good point there. Uh, he's saying broken rib. Yeah, well, that's like I'm saying. It was it was a punch to the stomach is what opened it up for him to grimace in pain and then yawn to go just gunning for the head. Mm. God, the amount of mental fortitude you have to have to have a broken rib and still be fighting like this. Well, what is it? The uh, Apparently during like one of the first, the, I think the first prelim of the night, Ended with uh, oh, uh, if you want to check, uh, check Discord. I think Craig just said, "Am I in the right place?" Uh, it says clear pong. Yeah, that's Craig. Yeah. <clears throat> Anything with a. Speaker next to it. There we go. Ooh, good kick. Hey, Craig, what's up? What's cracking, man? I've never done Discord before. Yeah, welcome to, uh, welcome to what the future. Do, Craig, what do? What's wrong with Zoom? Uh, like Zoom? Zoom is fine, but here we get a little more control over it and the audio quality is better. So this is what we want to do for the the D and D streams, but uh, Pat and Carlos keep having computer issues with it. Oh, I've been using Zoom for work for like months. Oh, really? 
you guys see me? Because it doesn't show that I'm on video. Uh, it doesn't. I don't see your video, but I do see like your screen. I fuck that up. Oh, you're coming now. There we go. Oh, so there. I'm thinking about it. Cheers, my Harry. friend. Serious, hey. bro. Oh yeah, I'm a hairy monster now. Beer. I'm just waiting for the round to end. <laughs> I'm currently at 121. What are you guys at? I just hit 121 right now. Cool. Shot to the ribs that I have no idea what you mean by those numbers. Oh, oh like the, the like the, the time. Oh, I'm a little delayed. I'm yeah. at 118. Okay, I'm at 104. That taught me this dude on Patreon for one dollar gives you a link, and that was what I needed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's awesome. So he's been getting a dollar from me since Pat and I watched one a couple months ago. This one's been fantastic so far. This is a great fight. Yeah. It's like the whole card. This one's been real. Oh, yeah. So are you just getting into fighting now? Me? Yeah. Or who? Yeah, yeah, Craig. Uh, I've been watching fights since I was uh, in college. We bought. We used to buy them and have parties. Okay, that's what I thought. So it, it's just the tech side that you're just now getting into. Oh well, the tech side that ain't getting there. It's never gonna get anywhere. <laughs> that, that, there's a, there's a. <laughs> I'm perpetually buffering. You know what I mean? Like it's not. It's yeah. Not good. <laughs> I like the, that the term. Fight, I've been watching. I think since UFC, whatever the number was, where uh, Ortiz, you know, was one of the early guys I got Ortiz. into. Liddell, Couture, all of their fights. Yeah. I was. This is like old. Yeah, I think I got in Bob right what? around 200. Ooh, oh, God. yeah. See, that's the punch the stomach I was telling you about. See, that's what opened him up. Yeah, that's in round one. God, that's got to be something. Got to be a broken rib. Ooh, so that's from round Man. one. You saw that. <laughs> it's my beer. So I, I, I kind of lost some of that last so, one just trying to get Craig in. So what do you think? What do we have? 1-1 one, one or 2-1? Two, one? I'm, or I'm two, thinking oh. it's 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. One, one right now. I think all those are the same. Oh, your video's frozen, Mike. Is it? Oh, I right, stood up. Am I good? What's that? Is it still frozen? When he moves out. Oh, Craig needs to turn down his audio because his his audio is taking over yours. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, so just get like really close to the mic when you talk. Round three is brought to you by three My bad. No, it's not. It's not your fault. It's just the audio. Like whoever's talking the loudest, it overtakes the rest. I'm actually going to mute him real quick. How do I do this? And that's a good way to beat him from here. Now, don't be overly optimistic. Assume you're down, if anything, to send a urgent message that you need to, you know, do more. And he's doing more already. Nope. I tried muting him here, and it does not work. Like in round two, Jan opening self on here in round Wait, maybe it does. No, it doesn't. Hey, Craig. Sir. Turn, if you can, turn down your uh, speaker a little bit. Because it's taking over the microphone. My bad. You're good. No, you're good, man. We're all learning it- together. Also, yeah, you're live on now. Twitch right now. Say whatever you want to the people. Oh, I'm live on a Twitter. Oh, no, yeah. Twitch, you said. Twitch, yeah. Twitch, this, yeah. This might turn into a podcast, too. A little... Uh... Come Spil- Oh, no, he's back now. He was frozen for me for like a bit. And oh, now me he's too. Good. Spillane's back. Yeah. So this is our first remote uh, drunk chore. Yeah. Ooh. Pat doesn't do Discord or what's going on? Uh no, he just wasn't he's uh, he wasn't feeling it tonight. So it's really more just a fight yeah, companion. Stuff going on. So right now we have it one one. I'm just muted Discord. <laughs> right now we have a one one. Who do you got? On uh, wise you you say that? Uh one yawn, one Aldo. I, uh, yeah, I, I think they must have missed out. much of two to see Aldo do something. That was yeah. It seemed like Mike. I think Aldo was more dominant in round two. Ooh, he's got a solid he's face shot him, because it looked like we got dominated in round one. Very much in round one. 
Giannis he's, he's defenses doing some right work now. now. See, this is this is unexpected. I also thought Aldo was older. When I Googled that he was only 33, I was like, oh, I should stop talking shit. He's not as old as I thought. <laughs> His wife's also kind of hot, so I also put him a little bit up for that. Right, he's got to have something going for him. I'm telling you, it's that giant cup. <laughs> it's hiding something. It's hiding something good. <sighs> something that that wife really likes. You really got to give respect to the athlete that has a hot wife because the athlete that doesn't is is just get there. Never going to reach. Can't reach that, that uh, pinnacle. That Kurt Warner, and he's a one-hit wonder. Peter Petra or Petter, whatever the fuck, he's letting me down. I thought he was going to knock this guy out. There's still time. Still got 12 minutes left. Yeah, but it's less. It's not as impressive as plenty of time. Two minutes in the third. How bad am I? How delayed am I? Uh, I'm at 149. Like, yeah, I'm at 150. So. See, like I'm impressed regardless what time they knock someone out at. Because if it's early on, it's like, damn, you you really like you got their number. If it's later, it's like, damn, you were tired as fuck and you still managed to knock him out. How did you feel about Rose getting all fucked up at the end of that fight? She completely dominated the first two rounds and then took a couple bad shots and. Yeah, they gave her the win, which she deserved, but she looked like she lost. She looked oh, awful. Yeah. yeah, that hematoma on the eye. She won that fight. If you, by the, by the car, the, she won that fight by strikes, by the cards, but her face didn't win anything. Yeah, her face told a different Actually, story. Man. Like, I think, I, I wonder if it, it was like, it was huge. have to pop that thing. It looked like it was going to become a whole program. <laughs> I wonder if if they had gone to five rounds, I don't know if Rose would still have won, because it seemed yeah. I think she would have lost because that was that was like a turning of the of the ties right there. She was not even fighting the same way. She was all the whole hand came up, which affected that whole right right. I mean, she was up like this because it was. Yeah. Get it? I mean, it was busted. <laughs> I don't know if she could even see out of it at that point. I can see how it looked like at the. I love the interviews that they're doing at the end because it's it's pretty good. Like I really like the Brazilian chick who I wasn't familiar with, but who whooped up on Paige. Uh, was that Andrade? I liked her interview. No, that was uh, Rebos. I missed that fight. Oh man, she armbarred her. It was so quick. I think Yon might have this round, but this is kind of Ooh. a pick 'em round. At least it's a title, so it's like. Yeah, this is this was a close one. I think Aldo had a bunch better of than I thought it was going to be, but that's shots. good news. I feel good about that. I'm not mad that. Oh, you know what I could do? Hold on. There we go. Oof. Change the audio on that. Technology. Technology. Yeah, can hear you. Spinning elbows. Yeah, it seemed like they each hit a spinning back elbow. Yeah, I think it was Aldo who got it right at the buzzer too. Right at the buzzer. Yep. Hey, what's up, chat? We are currently just starting round four of the Peter Jan Jose Aldo fight. We are at four minutes and 48, 47, 46 seconds. So if you're watching along, I hope you are. Similarly aligned, uh, feel free to jump in the chat and we will uh, talk back. Oh, you're on your Twitch, peoples. Yeah, we got the Twitch going too. It's not this, though. This is separate from that. This, so yeah, yeah. basically, go ahead. Keep it all together. Basically, what we're doing is we're talking in this and we're streaming what we're saying in here to Twitch. I only know of Twitch, I don't use it. I know the video game. 
a platform or whatever. I'm not quite sure what else it does. It's kind of everything. Oh, it's become more than sex video stuff. games at this point now. Like, people just stream things live to Twitch. So, like, pe- sometimes people are just on there, like, just talking and chatting with people that are watching. So yeah. that's kind of more so where we're at right now. Ooh. Yeah, there's, like, makeup channels. There's just people talking. It's pretty much everything. New shows. Podcasts. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. And is it still the platform where it's technically free, but you pay, you, like, tip people? Or no, it's not like that anymore? Nope, it's like that. You you can, like, we've gotten tips before. You can do subscriptions. Uh, if you have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe to uh, channels for free so that they make the money, but you don't have to pay anything extra. So it's cool. I mean, I think I think we have like a consistent six subs right now. It's more than none. Brings us like almost fifteen dollars a month in revenue. So yeah, man, which I'm Get ecstatic that, about. Man. It's gonna be enough to upgrade Is my graphics perhaps, card at some point. Maybe in maybe in a few months you can you can do that. Yeah, we've been doing it for about four or five months now. It's not about the money. The, the thing is, like, no. we do the mic. We do this, the 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 fucking sport thing. It's not about the money. It's it's completely about the entertainment value of just talking with friends. I mean, that's a hundred percent. Especially with yeah, me living in Colorado uh, now, it's just it's so awesome to be able to spend time with you guys remotely. You know, and like to me, this is all about the social aspect. Could it be beneficial and financial at some point? Yeah, theoretically could happen but i don't think it's it's about it's not about that it, that's not the primary we're just watching a fucking it, it's not going out that I, can I, if i said a bad word is that a problem no you're fine no okay. we have it marked it's as uh, explicit fair and not if it means i'm messing up the twitch no nah, dude you're good, no, you're good now, jose, jose looks just haggard now i'm just yeah. confused on this fight He's got he has a new PR for personal uh for significant strikes though. He just hit one oh four and his old best was one oh two. So he's he's, he's going beat, at it. Yeah, he's getting beat so up, but he's beating him up too. Yeah. This is this could be two two. This is weird. Wow, his arm's bleeding. Jan's uh right arm no, no, right at the elbow. That's, that's all those blood. Oh, is it? I don't I think, see yeah. I don't see all the bleeding. Oh, nope, now I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, he just had to turn around. <laughs> Whole front of his face, my guy. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, I think Josh's philosophy on why, like, not doing it for the money and just, like, why he likes streaming and, like, making content and recording it, I think is the best. And that's just, you know, if we ever have kids or something one day, like, to be able to show them, like, hey, this is the kind of shit your dad used to do. Want to watch any of that crap? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're going to know really well who I am. Yeah. It's the new way, right? Isn't it? Like, yeah. you know, when we were kids, our parents had like photographs and maybe they have a couple hundred. My kid's only three months old. I have 1100 photos in a Google photo album. <laughs> it's just so different what you could do now. There was no skin off my back. You know what I mean? Like I could... I think I'm coming up with ideas on his birthdays, recording things and things like you just couldn't do that shit before. It's just too easy to chronicle life. So why wouldn't you? And why wouldn't you have friends in different places, whether it's Colorado or I know with COVID, it doesn't matter whether you're in Colorado or next door. We're not supposed to hang out, I guess. But right. So it's yeah. easier to do this. Like I've been married to Zoom for work, but we've done some personal shit. I'm on Zoom like four times a day at minimum with work right now, so I understand. Meetings are Zoom just because it's easier. Yeah, I think you say. How are the trivia nights going with it all being digital now? Trivia doesn't. uh, What we're working on for trivia is uh, a contact free game Mm -hmm. we can roll out in the bars, streaming to their TVs. Honestly, that revenue went to fucking dick. It went to zero from we were we were here's what the real irony is. January and February were my best two months for trivia ever. Really? Yeah. Most profitability, most revenue, both. Like the two things. Like it wasn't just revenue, it was revenue and profit. And COVID hit and 
Ugh. cool the weird thing you know i had the web business on the side mm-hmm. yeah yep we totally pivoted went full-time in that the company now i'm running that company my business running just the development side but i'm running the company and we're fucking we're doing shit it's weird it's just weird but trivia is in dire straits i mean it was pp <laughs> I, I took an eidl loan to gamble on this new contact free thing mm-hmm. i always think no risk no reward right right like we're gonna take yeah. a risk put some time into figuring out is there a contact free game that people give shit oh i love that nice hug. i like that Good sportsmanship right there. Yeah. Ooh, Peter Yan. for that. He's a good dude. Oh, 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 God, he's dominating right now. Oh, he might win it here. He might win it here. I don't know what's going to happen. Yan's uh-huh. just trying to wake the fuck up. Look at Strange. Is that half mount? He's got one over So the you line. know this because you do web stuff for a living. Web stuff's good to do, not not bar stuff right now. <laughs> <laughs> yep, one hundred percent. Like I, I feel very lucky to be to have a job that oh, I can that work elbow. from home. Me too, dude. I don't think I would have seen this much of my son. If I still had trivia. I'm gonna yep. be honest. I, mean, I haven't missed bath time yet. I missed a single bath time. Not that I'm saying, but that's like a new thing for me. Like, oh, cool. I'm present. Yeah. Whereas, like, it's it's it would not have been easy to do that with trivia still going. Yeah, is it making disguise kind of is is it making you rethink your career? A thousand percent. Yeah, it made me rethink it, and I acted on it. I'm a bit of a, a I make quick decisions. That doesn't mean I don't think about them, but I make quick decisions. And once everything with COVID was was going the way it was, and the opportunities were there for for the web business. I decided, okay, I'll put this much money and risk in trivia. Mm-hmm. Can we figure out how it can make money? And that's Mike's, not this Mike, but other. Uh, there's no, so many Mike's. That's yeah. my buddy Mike's <laughs> kind of goal now. He's got a six-month line of like, can you make this make any money? If you can't, don't worry. I'll just hire you for the other company to do other shit. It's like he's on a risk-free go, figure this out, and it can't be – me and you hosting in bars. That'll be our backup, backup, backup plan. Yeah, yeah. You know? Do the weddings, too. We have the wedding business. That's on hold, too. Oh, that's right. Like, Pat's Pat was one of the, the last spot. weddings. Yes, yes. We actually, Mikey, uh, my my biz partner in that thing, but he works oh for me for God. trivia. Just getting destroyed. This yeah. is strange. This I is don't like, know how he hasn't called it yet. I don't, yeah, why hasn't he called it yet? This is worse than the Dominic Cruz fight. And Dominic Cruz got called like that. But that's because you got the human element. It's a ref and it's a different ref. You're right. Yeah, it's a different ref who's just looking at this pool of blood at, growing out of Jose Aldo's Lord. nose. My Lord. Round right now is an all Jan round here. Yeah, and I think Jan's got three of the rounds at minimum. I can't believe he's not stopped this fight yet. I mean, I'm I'm with Bisping on this. Like, I think this <laughs> this needs to kind of end. He's not. I mean, he's defending. Oh, yeah. So maybe I'm he is, but he's getting hurt. He's defending and getting there we hurt go. simultaneously. There we go, Peter Jan. Oh. Cool. God. So he's another one that's younger than me. <laughs> How old is he? Twenty six. Twenty seven. Like, they just said. Why did he go you, that? What's up? Did go that long? The, the headache that Jose Aldo is going to have in like the next five minutes <laughs> for like, the next like two weeks. Ref maybe could have could have saved him some trouble. Yeah. Maybe what do you think? Maybe because it's a title fight, he was like, "Okay, maybe he'll get there." But like that, he took some fucking damage down there. Maybe I mean it could be it could be because of the Dominic Cruz thing too that he's he's listening to that and thinking, "Okay, it's a title fight. Maybe I should let it go longer." I don't know, man. He's getting his bell rung down there. Yeah, it like I mean that was a solid ninety seconds. 
I think. At least if just, we fi- if, if I'm not that anyone follows up on this shit like that, but if he's got mo- a concussion or t- out of that, like you did a bad job, ref. Like, you didn't. <laughs> yeah. You didn't do. I'm saying he does, but he stayed down holding his head for a bit long. Yeah, I'm very curious to see how long that actually was, Com- especially compared to the Dominic Cruz call. Yeah. Because I may be a bit of a hypocrite right now, saying that he should have called it earlier when I was preaching that the Dominic Cruz one should have gone longer. One felt longer, but you're right. We'd have to look at that. That would actually have to get looked at as like the time. But this one felt way longer than Cruz. Yeah, it felt it felt a little abusive. Oh man, <laughs> I just looked at to- total strikes from Jan. What is it? 265 out of 392 landed. 392. 199 head strikes landed. Oh my God. That's, that's Well, Joe's in his up. I mean, well, I'm sorry. He's Joe's now. He lost the E. Yeah. Joss. E. Joss. E. Joss and Peter. Joss. Full Peter moment. Dana doesn't want to touch you. He doesn't want your COVID. No, I don't need your blood. Like the marketing of showing all the testing early on. You got, I don't know if you guys were on the feed by that. I missed that. I missed that. I think it's just good marketing. Dana is very smart at, about this stuff. Oh, yeah. Like all these people have been tested. They don't really need the, the masks anymore. Tested a ton of times. Yeah. It's just They did 8,000 tests in the last like two weeks. How many? The only reason the masks make sense is the marketing. Yeah. You're marketing safety, the protection, and they're selling masks. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, I think I saw the uh, the roadmap for their their planned testing, and it was, I think the fighters got tested, fighter and their crew, I think got tested three or four times before even stepping into the octagon. Oh, yeah. And those tests were like deep, deep through the nose throat. Yeah. Yeah. Like the one that makes you win. It doesn't like, I'm not saying it hurts, hurts. Makes you feel weird. Yeah. Have you have you had to get a test yet? Oh no, no, I haven't. Have you? Yeah. So I, I heard was... about it. No. What's that? I... Go ahead. Oh, uh, so uh, we, um, my friend's birthday was like three or four weeks ago, and we went to the park. So we all stayed socially distant, but uh, one of the guys who was there found out that he had tested positive the day after. So me, my roommate, a couple of our friends all had to get tests. And luckily we all came back negative, but it was it was just the nose swab, so it wasn't like hitting the back of my throat, which was nice. But uh, I would I, I don't I didn't ever have to have one. Mel trained someone at her old job. She had it, but not in the time period that they connected. Mm. So she wasn't that she was I guess contact traced or whatever you call it. <laughs> right. How Russian does this guy sound? Incredible. Oh, fucking whole Russian. Got it. Yeah. He's not doing English. <laughs> oh, is he speaking Russian right now? Mike didn't see the prelims, but but Josh, did you see the prelims? No. This Czechoslovakia guy was wild. Oh, no, I missed it. I, I've been looking at houses all day. I mean, oh, that's that's very good for a different reason, but... Um, congrats when you make that uh, plunge. Thank you. This dude you may want to check out. He was the last of the undercard. Weird style. Bisbing couldn't, wouldn't stop talking about how interesting the guy was. And then he fucking knocked the dude out cold. Whites of the eyes and everything. Like Shit. It was fun. It was a fun fight because you were like, this style makes no sense. He's doing weird stuff with his hands. He's And Bisbing's like, them and he does all this weird psychology stuff and then you're watching the fight and you're like is that what he's doing but his even his post-fight interview was kind of fun because he doesn't have a full grasp of english but he's trying yeah you could tell he wants this he wants to be something um that's when i always really like him when they're like like the 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 girl that won with the arm bar i can never remember her name oh she's trying to learn english really well too Andre. like i want the one who just won the one who won two fights ago. Oh yeah, uh, Jessica Andrade. No, no, no. She's uh, uh, the one Rebus. That. Oh, Rebus. Rebus. Yeah. Tell she's like wanting to be well off because you don't do well 
in the UFC if you never speak English. Mm -hmm. You gotta get there at some point, and then you fucking get so many more fans. And I don't mean that in like a, 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 a accidental sound racism, but it's not. It's that it's just who the fan base is. Well, then you have two what fan bases we, yeah. too. You have your home country cool. and you have America, and then America kind of just broadcasts to the world. So once you can capitalize on that, you're you're golden. That's the thing. Even even Anderson Silva figured out how to speak English, and he didn't want to. He didn't want to. Didn't think he had to. And he figured it out. Hmm. It was about the money. It was about the money at the end. How marketable are you? So this uh, get get his English lessons on because he's something. Got something. Oh yeah. Next two, I think everybody speaks English, so I don't think we have any problems there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. Oh, so I asked Mike this question before. How much would you have to get paid to be in the 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 octagon with any any of them oh. for three rounds? You, if if they if they submit you, you can tap, but you have to keep going for fifteen minutes. But what do you mean? If I what, what what's to stop me from getting armbarred in forty seconds? No, you can tap, but then you have to keep going. So you could you'll reset uh, the timer stops and you keep going. An obscene amount of money because of the damage I would take. Oh oh oh! I, I, I forgot. It, it was, also, you have a three month camp where your job is completely safe. So as soon as you're done with this, you can go back to your job. You, you're not paying for the camp, so you have 12 weeks to get from where you are now to the closest to fighting shape you can get. To lose some weight, dude, because I'm heavy right now, which means I'm fighting guys that would destroy me. <laughs> oh, you would, you would lose it in camp. You would lose it in camp. That's what we were saying about me. To... Yeah, because I'm at like 190. I would have to get down to like fight, like 155. Even feel like... I... I'm still concerned with the damage. So money to to your answer, it's a high amount. It's not good. I think I might need like life changing money because I, I take some serious damage. Mm -hmm. Well, what what is life changing money for you? Changing money is in the seven figures and up. Oh, okay. Because, so you go that high. Yeah, because here's the thing: I can make a lot of money for a lot of different ways. If my eye bone breaks into my brain. <laughs> I can't. I can't. you know even with a three-month camp these dudes fucking know what they're doing yeah that's that's the thing i, I you know i we've t not us in this talk but in previous i've i've had the thought of like i could totally beat up like Paige van zandt right i don't even think i could do that no way i, I think she would eviscerate me i think the skill there is a real skill to this there's real knowledge no business in there. <laughs> and that's what I mean. Like you couldn't, you know, the number's too high. That's why I'm not a good target. It would require testable, immediate compound interest already is paying my bills. Like the, the annual interest is paying my nut. Yeah. Because I'm taking, the whole time I'm probably just doing a mixture of this. Oh, just. Just trying to defend the entire time. <laughs> you they'll kick you they all know how to kick oh that's, they, yeah, that's fair <laughs> so you you could protect all this and now your acl shredded because they gave you one good leg kick and it just took everything out yeah you know the more you're talking the more i think that i'm under un, underestimating how intense it would be because i said about a hundred thousand dollars because i thought 15 what? minutes a lot of money i'm not trying to say that's not good money <clears throat> uh, a, a close friend of mine boxed in the navy and he only did uh, two minute rounds, three round mission fights. Mm -hmm. He said, and we played, you know, friendly sports together, and he's more athletic than me, but he said it was the hardest thing he ever did. Six minutes. I'm talking about 15, and they can kick me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, that that's fair. I might have to see uh, kicking is like the only advantage that I have. So Yeah, you do have that him. like latent kick energy. We do the kickery thinking what what weight class are you trying to get to so for me i walk around 175 so i can get fairly low you you might even get to 145 to fight yeah well what is uh it, it's the what is um what's his name he's the next fight hawaiian dude 
Uh, Falcon Holloway Oski? featherweight. No, no, no. Uh, Max Holloway. Wait. Isn't he in the next fight? <coughs> yeah. He is in the next fight. But what is what is Max fight at? Is that 145? 145 featherweight. Yeah, so I could I could probably get down to that if I really had to. But he could kick my ass. What are you trying to get to? The one? He would fuck you up, man. 100%. 100%. <laughs> Mike, what funny if, thing is, you're talking about it, like any of us could even go the 15. I would get kicked out cold. I would be out cold. Like it was, that's a good point. I, I guess the real question is, how much would you get paid for a concussion? <laughs> like, oh, oh, there's no way we're not going to get knocked out. Got a concussion playing ping pong at a drunk birthday party. <laughs> a real, like I, I dove and I hit my head on the fucking. Uh, they had it in their garage and I struck my head on their like whatever shelving unit and I got a legit concussion for no dollars. <laughs> so to take a kick, go like one kick or one punch, it's not a million, it's less than that. Yeah. <laughs> it's like five bucks. It's a little more than a fiver because I did get nauseous and throw up the whole next day. Oh, oh you gotta man. pay me a day's wage. To take What's that? <laughs> I don't know if you're seeing that fight card. O'Malley made it onto the the main card for 252. Yeah, dude, I'm pumped for that. I like O'Malley a lot. Like I saw him on Rogan, I think maybe a year ago, and once I saw him on that, I'm like, okay, you're you're a smart f- fighter. Like you got that weird kind of character so about you, but rematching, I didn't even realize that. I'll say that again. Ipe and Cormier are rematching. Yeah, when did they fight last? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure when the last definitely. Was, this is a Cormier Miocic three. Third fight, right? Oh wow, oh, rubber match. Oh, this is what he's going he's out like, on too. Yeah, he's, uh, yeah. This is going to be his final fight unless something happens. Nothing's going to happen. John Jones isn't going to take the fight. No, I'm not excited about John Jones anymore. I, I, I think too many, too many outside of the fight game things. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you on that. You guys still still a hot commodity. I feel like he's not. No, he's like, still hold- he's what? He still holds a title that hasn't been vacated yet. No, I'm, I'm no it's excited good. by Usman. It, oh, there's so many other fun guys to watch. Like Jones' backstory is not good anymore. Like mm. entitlement of how much coke and things are you doing that you don't care about this yeah i don't, I don't care about you because you care about what you're doing no he pretended to change and he's still the same exact dude he's still in the same exact uh weight class like maybe if you went up to yeah. heavyweight in like three years i'd be interested to see what he does but he's just uh he's just a fuck up now he's watching all these other guys and girls multi-weight class and make noise and do amazing things He's not doing any of it, so I'm just I'm not. I was a fan. It was easy. It was hard not to be, but yeah, he's one of the ones that I don't think I'm taking the time out of my night to watch his card, unless other guys are on it. Yeah, I mean th- this fight alone, the Kamaru um, Masvidal fight. Like, I'm more interested in that than I would be John Jones anything. It's only because his storyline got shitty. That's the funny thing. It's because he couldn't back up. The fight was still there. He keeps winning. It's like I don't care of the other things going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he got pulled over for DUI a couple months ago, right? And like shot out of his car. Multiple DUI, cocaine, firearms, all kinds of dumb shit. Like what are you doing? you have two nfl brothers so between the three of you guys could figure out like let's just be millionaires for a while and then do all our dumb shit later <laughs> right after the money's been made <laughs> i don't get that i just don't he's just not a deep thinker I, he, he, light heavy and that whole division is a little bit eh. although that really exciting czechoslovakian guy is light heavy what jones guy? would destroy him but maybe he'll be better maybe oh, the, he'll get the new better. guy the new guy Fun one, the the fun one. He knocked out the number seven ranked light heavyweight who I had never heard of, but not a avid all the time UFCer like I was in college. 
now I look for the big cards. Like this card was too good not to stay up late to mm-hmm. watch. Yeah. Oh, Three yeah, title that's fight. View, that's... Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It isn't even that because I used to stay up late all the time. It's just I get up fucking way early now because the kid is makes noise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That happens. That's, all, that's all they fucking do. They just they just make noise. I love him. I love him. He's very cool. But he just makes <laughs> noise. In the morning. <laughs> yeah. Well, what's his name? Jacob. 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 Very Anthony cool. Brooks. Yeah, it was after my grandfather. It was a little family connect, and uh, he's cool, and I, I I'm with that. But they but they make noise. You just got to be aware of that when you're gonna deciding on making one. Just know, silent. <laughs> yeah, all noise all the time. No, so much of the time. So much of the time. I mean, he sleeps wrong, but he's not a through night sleeper yet. He's only three and a half months. When does that normally happen? People get him, get him through the night early, but it's a process. It's a process. When do they start but, uh, sleeping through the night usually? Just, man, that's what's so weird. Some people get him through the night between 10 weeks and, and five months. The average is six to eight months. Okay. Average. I'll tell you, there's horror stories out there on the internet and from family. People didn't get sleep through the night till two years, which was like mind blowing. That, do not hope that was me. So you know, this is a real thing. It's mm-hmm. baby to baby. It's person to person. And you, God bless your mother, by the way, and your father potentially, if they were both on it. God bless them because that is difficult. I a different. You know, uh, luckily, some of my friends. So going through either pregnancies or already just had kids. So I saw one of them today at Publix. He looks as haggard as I do. And I was like, yes. yes. <laughs> we are the same. <laughs> this is why everything gets soft. We're, what's going on? You just can't. You just don't have it. You don't have anything left. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, the positives still outweigh the negatives in the dumbest is that are all cliches people say that you don't want to be true i don't want to be as fond of him as i am <laughs> because it makes me feel like everybody else yeah but i like i mean cliches are cliches because they're so universal you can tell the yeah. wife is like i was trying not to love him more than you but i think i do <laughs> <laughs> oh that's funny This one, who are you rooting for on this? Weird that I'm for Holloway. I want the redemption there. I, I like him. I don't know why. I like Holloway a lot. I think he's a good dude. Well, I do. I, I lied. I know why I like him. He was on an episode of a show I saw about footwear. I like sneakers. He's a sneakerhead, and that made me like him more. Oh, really? Yeah, there's something about I collect sneakers. Yeah, there's something about Holloway no. that I just identify with. I'm all in on Volkanovski right now. Are you? Like, I love you. You see what his walkout song is? No, I didn't hear it. Oh, he's coming out from Men with Hats, Land Down Under. Oh, okay. <laughs> he's from New Zealand, right? Yeah, exactly. That's what makes it hilarious. Oh, he was born in <laughs> Australia, though. <clears throat> In Holloway, also from. No, he's from Hawaii. <coughs> oh, that's not. That's not the same. No. But it is interesting. We have two island island folk going at it. Hey. Yo, but Volkanovski. I don't know if you know. He was a rugby player before. He was two forty, if I remember correctly. Excuse me. He used to weigh two. Wait, what? Yeah, he either weighed two forty or it was like two fourteen. But either way, for someone who's 5'7 and like just muscle. I agree. Robust. You can see, look at his cat, look at his ham, sh- uh, not, uh, fucking Cows. quads. Oh, quads, yeah. Let, let me look. Cows and the quads, they're very thick. Short guy. And he's five, you said 5'7. I'm like 5'7 in change. Mm-hmm. Volkanovsky. Oh, on the ESPN app right now. God, he fights at 145. Are you sure? 214 seems more reasonable than 240. It, it might be. It was 100 kilograms. 
So he's only five okay. six. He's five six. Kilograms is like two twenty. In pounds. Okay, so okay, so it must have been two fifteen. But that's still fucking ridiculous. Yeah. You're just talking about a seventy pound thing. Although it has no relationship to fighting, but my wife in three and a half months lost forty five pounds. Wow. From the pregnancy right now. I didn't know that was possible. I am I'm pleased. <laughs> I didn't know I didn't know that could happen that rapidly. Yeah. Was was it was it diet? Was it just not having the the child anymore? Rescue. Eating. Oh, I guess that would take a lot of out of you, right? Take the fuck out of her. It's like the best thing, for, and not all women can do it. So I'm not. I, I wouldn't like tout it if any woman is struggling. But if a woman can do it, they will lose the baby weight much faster. Interesting. I mean, it's crazy how the human body like has these systems that just kind of work. Oh, dude, it's beyond crazy. The research that we did into the breast side of it to figure out like how long should she breastfeed or whatever. There's some sort of biochemistry between mm. his saliva and her tit. It communicates that her body produces protein or more this or more that. And that shit blew my fucking mind out. And I said, babe, you must feed him more to make him large. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he, needs to be, he needs to be the biggest brother ever was. <laughs> is your is your family like traditionally short? Mine is, but hers is not. He's way above average right now. Typically, they say babies double in weight at six months and triple by a year. He came out at seven and a half at 16 pounds already. Wow. He's cooking. And that's three months? He's cooking. And I'm like, babe. Yeah, three and a half. He'll be four months in two weeks. So I'm like, babe, you keep shoving that tit in his mouth. <laughs> Make me a big boy. Get Make us a football a player. I don't even care if he's bad at sports. I just want him to be taller. <laughs> <laughs> As a short guy, tall people get more respect. And I know <laughs> it. I know it's true. I am. Holloway all day. Yeah, I, I, it's hard because I like both of them. I'd be happy if either of them won. I'm going to put my money on, I think, uh, Holloway. Holloway. Volkanovski's the favorite, oh. though. <clears throat> well, yeah, he's the champion, man. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. <clears throat> he's also a uh, pretty <clears throat> not heavy favorite, but like... Negative 220. Yeah, he's favored pretty right. well. You know, Mike, if you and I got fit, this would be our fight. You think so? Pretty much. I mean, there were, were their heights. I'm the same height as Holloway. You're about the same height as a... Uh... Oh, like a thinny versus a little stocky kind yeah. of thing. I'd love... To... How much do we need to raise for you two to fight? Mike, what do you think? Like How 10 grand each? What's that? Grand? I know some people. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Well, no, ten grand each. We have to each make ten grand. Yeah, yeah. That seems more doable than I think. Twenty grand. Think. <laughs> I mean, I gotta go on a serious weight cut. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I would sure definitely win. Can. So that I mean, I'm okay with a lower number. <laughs> yeah, I'm antagonizing you, I would you dude. Oh, I would definitely beat you. Yeah. Oh, you would win. Oh, fine. Bring it, bitch. <laughs> I got that length, dog. Okay. Length doesn't matter if you don't know how to use it. No, I don't know how to use it. I just jump at you like a spider monkey. Yeah, that doesn't work. Okay, you don't know. <laughs> You've never been in the ring. All right, sitting. Okay, so Volkanovski Holloway sitting at four thirty-three right now. You're about nine, ten seconds ahead of me. About two seconds ahead of me. So we'll try and. Uh, cool. I don't care if you. You know, oppress. Oh no, so, react. So I'll know to get excited. I'll I'll get excited if you get excited. <laughs> you know it's a real fight when they bring out Herb Dean. Oh right. yeah. Herb Herb's the guy. Big John McCarthy, he's retired, right? So it's like Herb's the new number one guy. I think so. 
I thought I saw him. Re- yeah, I like. No, no, he, Big John McCarthy's John not the guy with the the braided beard, is he? Oh no, John McCarthy no. was a forever staple. I don't think he's with them anymore. If I remember correctly, actually, no, it might have been Herb Dean that did it. So there was an episode of Friends where one of Monica's boyfriends was trying to get into the UFC, and they actually in, in had Friends? like Bruce Buffer in Friends. Yeah, the, I guess the UFC was around then. That's wild. Yeah, it's just that's when it was like the UFC was really Ultimate Fighting, like Ren and Gracie going against like Sue. John Favreau you know, later played a like, UFC fighter on Friends. Yeah. John Favreau. That's who. That's who her boyfriend was. Huh, that's wild. Yeah. But, I'm trying to remember if it was Herb Dean or if it was Big John McCarthy that was the referee inside the ring because it actually was one of the UFC refs. Interesting. I would have bet without knowing. I'd bet on McCarthy just because of the time period. Same. I'm trying to remember. I mean, that was 20 years ago. Or Herb- I mean, how old is Herb Dean? He's got to be like early 40s maybe, right? He doesn't seem like an old Looking dude. Up. But I mean, doesn't. But but he's, I've been watching Herb Dean do fights for damn near the twenty years. He's forty nine, bro. Really? Yeah. Looks good for forty nine. Looks fucking great. That's what's weird. Herb Dean looks fantastic for forty nine. Tell a lot of this is this is still feel out zone. Oh yeah, this is yeah. Their, so it's the third fight against each other. Do you guys remember? You is I thought this was only their second. It might be two. I couldn't remember. I think it's just also. Two. I just was John that, McCarthy right? was the in the uh it had to be friends episode it was can close it just pulled up the imdb i was right there behind you on that (laughs) holloway's got ring control right now he does little taunt right there Low below, what happened there? Seemed like a leg kick. <clears throat> I think he was just taunting him. Oh, the little like juke back. That was a weird jump move. Yeah. Always really frustrated with uh, Holloway's terrible back tattoo. The wings? Yeah, the two different wings, primarily. Are they different? Absolutely different. It's an angel and a devil wing, I think. Oh, I got to see him turn around. Oh, they are different. It's not going to impress you. It's, it's not going to. You're not going to feel good that you paid attention to that. No, no. Mike has good tattoos. I'm not sure if you have tattoos. That's a bad tattoo. That is a bad tattoo. I am thinking about getting one somewhat soon. Yeah. I want to start getting like small. Tell me that. Oh, I, it just happened like within the past like two days. But I'm thinking like so, small, like like kind of like geometry type stuff. Oh my god! Ooh, it's nice. Ooh, get him in the head. God, what a way to end that round. But yeah, I'm thinking like I'm starting to think kind of geometry type stuff. So like something around here, kind of up into the arm. I still think I want to just like have the left arm be my canvas to start off with, and then we'll see what happens down the road. I'll uh give me a second. Let me go find my friend Chandler's. He just got his arm finished up. It's probably like exactly what you'd be oh. looking for for yours. I'm gonna give that round to Ooh, Holloway. That yeah, me too. he he dropped him at the end, and then uh he had ring control for a fair amount. Oh, getting kicked in the head really can put you off whatever the hell you were thinking about. Yeah. Yep. It was feeding. It was funny watching the the UFC like 
lead up to this to see the different like Holloway was just all about getting into it like actually fighting Alexander Volkanovsky was focused on the point fighting which for a sport like this that's what you have to do ooh yeah I do like that because this is the thing is you it, with this you never want to leave anything up to the judges but if you think that you're going to make it to the end of the fight you have to think about it from that perspective of how can I still win this you know, if we go the distance. Yeah. So it seems like Volkanovsky is definitely kind of playing the game of how do I win the 25 minute fight rather than how do I knock him out in 10 minutes? Yeah. Like what's my, what's my contingency plan? Front legs yeah. start to get beat up. He's kept chopping at it. On a, who, whose leg is chopped up? Well, Holloway took some damage on, what's his name? Vol- Volkanovsky's leg kicks early on. Oh, yeah. I mean, his thighs are so, so fucking thick. Yeah. Like a single kick is going to do so much damage. Yeah, Mike, I, I like, like this tattoo a lot. Redness. Do you see the redness in Holloway's knee? On his left leg? Yeah. Yes, his lead leg yeah, he, is... Oh, oh, and there it is. He ooh, hit him with two combo. more. I mean... He's landing leg kicks like crazy that could make Holloway's push... It's already kind of light on the power. He's a great fighter, but he's never, he, he's not the KO king. No, never. Mm-mm. He's technically sound. And he's no, he's cards, a fantastic fighter, it. but he's not known for his knockouts, his power. Oof. <clears throat> but yeah mike the tattoo you sent me mm. yeah like I, I wouldn't want to go that in depth but that kind of <clears throat> that style like that sort of geometric light symbology i like a lot so we'll see. yeah i got people down here that do that kind of stuff so let me know if you ever want to come make the trip back down i might do it man like uh, JC Tim's sister is going to going down yeah. to stay with um, her family for like two months. So she asked if if I would fly down and take the drive back with her, which I might do, and if I can get a tattoo out of it at the same time. We'll win. Couldn't you work from wherever? Pretty much, yeah. Just not from a car. But my buddy, my buddy does coding, and and uh, he works in Tennessee. But he went to Florida for like a month and a half and didn't, didn't stop working. He just fucking had internet. Yeah, as long as I got a connection, I'm fine. Yeah. Like I did that. Uh, my parents went on like a short vacation like a year and a half ago, and I just watched their house for two weeks, and I was still working. It was great. Helped them out. Still made money. I'm really hoping with this house that I'm doing, I'm trying to make the basement like a lock off Airbnb. And if I can do that, it's just like right. churning income. Yeah. So, Cause I like my favorite part there was you said lock off. So they're not going to come up in your zone. Yeah. Yeah. I want something that I can put like a key code, like a number pad key code on there. Just have it go. Like I'll, I'll, I'll start- smarter than you yeah, and also I'll start. I'll clean it for the first couple of months or whatever. But once I understand the business, just hire someone out. Then I can just you know travel whatever I'm doing. What you're, what you're getting paid? Say that again. Factor in that cleaning. You'll factor the cleaning fee of what you're gonna pay someone into what you end up charging over time. Exactly. Yeah, it seems like I'm I'm doing yeah, my I best like to. Go ahead. That strategy. It's better than. My wife's cousin like struggled with it. She did it with like she had an extra room, but it was like in communal space. Mm-hmm. And ended up fucking hated it. Yeah, yeah. I want something that's separate that can kind of run on its own with minimal input, and something that'll diversify my income. You know, just trying to set up Nailed the it. systems. You, you you invest in that keypad. You up. You make it nice enough so you can charge a good amount, not ten dollars, <laughs> right? Not a hostile level price. Make it where it's worth it. At you know, I don't know the number, but whatever. And you put the keypad in, so you never have to fucking see him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
and I'll do a good job. It seems like a fun thing to do. Like you get to kind of do a little bit of interior design, a little bit of, um, I forget the word. Hospitality. I've used Airbnb multiple times, like for big trips. I did two bachelor parties and I took my parents to Savannah with an Airbnb for their 45th anniversary. And like, I always go for ones that have like, they just look a little better, you know? Yeah. yeah. Pictures are everything, right? Isn't that the difference of what you're going to choose? Oh yeah. You, you put that extra like 10% effort with the pictures and like some nice Ikea furniture and you're going to, you're going to you, like uh, you put an attractive pillow and a $10 Ikea thing on the wall and you're able to charge $30 more that comes back to you every time. Oh yeah. Yeah. 100%. And I like it too. Cause it's a little more human than coding. Like I, I love coding and programming, but it is very machine, you know, it's just like yeah. this and that there's no human element. There's not, like there's only so many ways I can improve and none of them are directly interacting with people. Yeah, that's true. But field is quite valuable for the future. So that's something important. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that's why I want to do both, you know? Yeah, yeah it can. You, you're you going to scratch different itches in different places. You'll get all off with your coding and you'll get the creativity sometimes and the social aspect maybe with your with your new venture which is fun Mm -hmm. i can't believe i never noticed that those wings were different you know that's you know do you do you do you remember in college when we went and um hung out with our sweet mate cody's friends that like one night freshman year vaguely yeah and like we they started like asking me about tattoos and stuff and we were like talking about tattoos and i was like they're like like what kind of tattoos do you like not like i was like i don't know man like i can't stand people to get their last name tattooed on their back (laughs) and like i have my last name tattooed on my back and i was like i mean i guess it kind of depends on the font (laughs) yeah you know not all of them are the same and then he showed me his and because i was like um yeah man like yours isn't in like that old english font that everybody gets but it looked like this was done in fucking bubble letters <laughs> like, oh no i do remember that <laughs> because i was like I'm yeah like no, that looked so much better but it didn't <laughs> like <laughs> oh man my two memories of cody what's up it's a bad look to get your name on your back that's a bad yeah, one. I hate that. yeah. I hate that. My two memories of Cody are when he did acid and he just drew his door for two hours, but the resulting artwork was so fucking good that I'm so glad he did it. And he also asked me to borrow my truck for like a long weekend to go visit his girlfriend. I'm like, I gotta work, dude. I have my car for a reason. <clears throat> like I bought my car. Yeah. Where's your? <laughs> he was a good dude, though. I liked Cody. Cody and Noel, yeah. right? I don't remember what her name was. His. The black dude. No, that was Ryan. I think I knew a different Noel then. Yeah, was Ryan, Ryan Caesar. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Shit, you're right. Yeah, they were like. Polar opposite they were so together. yeah they did not get along well Always oh red. noel was in my acting class red. Like an acting class yeah, i mean yeah i had a minor in a uh, interactive performance that's cool which is I basically a good what friend you... who i'm still friends with a theater class at ucf we met there and became friends. We're still friends now. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. When did, when did uh, you graduate? And we always talk about that. When did you graduate? Oh, five. Oh, five. So I'm you said, you guys still talk about what? We, well, we're, we, he, he did hosted trivia. We're still good friends. He married uh, a girl 
best friends with a girl I dated for three year, two and a half years. <laughs> just, he's just a good buddy of mine, and met in this guy JJ's acting class, UCF. I don't know why I took that class. In all honesty, I was not interested in that uh, as anything, but it was just like an elective or whatever. That's funny. A version of ballroom dancing for the athletes. <laughs> uh, it's okay. Right now, all the UCF football players are trying to get a UCF uh, professor fired for being racist. So, oh, oh really? What happened? Yeah. Uh, what's his name? I don't know if you remember. He was like a philosophy professor. Uh, Charles Nagy. I remember the name. Yeah. I never oh yeah, he's just been like, he's been like tweeting a bunch of racist shit since all of the things with uh, George Floyd has happened. So like, uh... all of the black football players are just like, uh, UCF. Why is he still here? <laughs> like, does he have tenure? Is that why? He might. He might have tenure because I mean, he was there when we were there. So he's been there at least ten years. Yeah. So that's true. That definitely could be it. You know what I think yeah, is Holloway insane is that colleges are still trying to charge the same amount for purely online classes. Oh yeah. It makes no sense to me. No. Like no, I would I say, I would say as a business, they're obligated to try to do that, but they're a public institution. Yeah. Uh, who who got that round? I was not paying attention. I think it might still be Holloway, but that one was closer. So a two one or three zero. I'll, I'll, I'll I'm still gonna I'm gonna say it's three zero right now. Really. I think I have to agree with you on what I'm seeing, but his leg, he's getting chopped away, but he, that's not doing enough damage. It's no. One, one more beer feels right, unless Usman Masvidal's fast, but one more feels right. Yeah. Uh, Usman Masvidal could be fast. It could be. Could be fast. Could be. Could. Fastest knockout in no. UFC history. <coughs> I'm saving my neck. I'll, I'll do one more drink me. when we get to that last fight. Yeah, nothing has been fast tonight. Well, one, the uh, Van Zandt. Oh, yeah, but I completely missed that one. Yeah, because it was so fast. <laughs> Fucking got him. He did, because then Rose went the distance. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jan didn't go the distance, but it, was it around five or round four stoppage? I believe it was around four, but it was pretty close. <laughs> yeah, but it was the end of round four, like... The, the ref, again, let that one go way too long. <laughs> way too long, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Aldo was getting pummeled. All right, let's see. My mind is so blown that he has two different wings on his back. <laughs> Never look at him the same. <laughs> no. Yeah, man. Look, you could see that bruising on the inside of his left leg. Of uh, yeah, it's Holloway. pretty. Serious. Yeah, it's pretty serious. Paul Kanowski's chopping at it. It's <sighs> just he's doing almost nothing else. Yeah, like Holloway's still more active. Like he's he's fighting for that championship back. There was uh, what was it? Um, oh wow! That I don't is think so it was red. I don't think it was from pay per view. I think it was a, from a fight night, though, uh, a f maybe like a month or two ago. Because I think I remember texting Josh and Pat about it. Um, there was a TKO by leg kicks. Like, what? I, oh, I remember, remember that. Seen that. Like the, there was a knockout via leg kicks because the guy had gotten his leg kicked so many times that he just couldn't stand anymore. doesn't look like it's at that level but it's certainly red yeah no he's he, it's a little swollen now. he's still putting weight on it though he is he's having no issue putting weight on it <clears throat> exactly it seems like like they're, they're both controlling the ring not neither one of them is really dominating that yeah holloway seems a little more active i think his strike count is a bit higher 
It is. It is as of the last time that they showed stats, which was in round three. God, even, they should even bring if, something else up soon. Yeah, I mean, with the way the fight's going, even if Holloway takes the belt back, I would love to see a third. Yeah, I think we will see a rubber match. <sighs> is that what they're called? Rubber? Yeah, yeah if they each split a fight, the third match is the rubber match. Uh, yeah, it's an old boxing term, in all mm -hmm. honesty. It came from boxing. It's silly, but it's, yeah. It's cause so much of old boxing was those rivalries. Mm hmm. Ooh, he's going for the takedown. He got him. Is Volkanov, Volkanovsky a wrestler? I don't think so. I mean, I have no idea. He's more I don't striking. know too much about him, if I'm honest. All I know is that he used to do rugby. Mm. Big, not allowing Volkanovsky yeah. to do anything. He's not allowing Volkanovsky to do anything. That's what I heard him say. Me too. <laughs> you think Masvidal comes out swinging super hard and heavy to try to knock Usman out, and other than that, has nothing else to give? <laughs> That's really got to be his plan, man. I mean, when you take a fight on like about a week's notice... Oh, it was very right. I mean, it ain't about the prep. It's like you trust yourself, trust what you know. Ooh. I need to hit this dude. Yeah, that's so the first time that, that. That's the first time that he landed a leg kick where Holloway buckled. Mm -hmm. well, that leg is going to be tough to walk on tomorrow. He's on adrenaline oh, now, sure. but. Hmm. I like those. Uh, Clinch uppercuts. Hmm. Yeah. Always striking's better than I, I guess I thought it was. He 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 lands a lot of what he throws. Well, it's because he's got he's got long arms. It's that, that lanky build. Holloway. Yeah. Yeah. There might not always be a whole lot of power behind it, but considering he's so long, he just can connect. Mm -hmm. And when you're repeatedly hitting someone with the Well, jab, he gets those fun combos fun like fight. that. I think you guys just Probably got hit. It's like the right, left, right knee. But yeah, you're right. Like, there's not always a lot of power behind it, but it hits. That's the thing. He wins a lot of fights on the cards. He submitted some people. He won quite a bit in his division. He's a, a, long, a longer standing champion. He wasn't a one and done. Yeah. Yeah, you can really see Holloway study the tapes and learned a lot. Usman has defended a time or two, hasn't he? He's yes. Who did he defend against? <laughs> Oh, he, um, he, his last Colby. one went to the. Oh I, oh, I thought he got it from Colby. You're right. You're right. No, he didn't have it. Yeah, he he defended against Covington, which is probably the most disliked person in the UFC. <laughs> Easily, this was the first round that Volkanovski had more total strikes. Yeah. All right, start around five right now. Sitting at four, five, five, four, five, four, five, three. Yep, Holloway's the favorite now at the after round four. Yeah, three one Holloway seems right. Yep, some three one Holloway. I, I would agree with that. Which means Volkanovski needs a finish. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess he's only defended the once against Colby. He took it from Woodley. Oh, that's right. Which, if I remember correctly, he dominated Woodley. He dominated he did. him. He did, but that's not as exciting as I thought. Is it Israel that has more title defenses? Yeah, I think Israel has a couple. Really, which one? Israel's a fun fighter to watch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want to see a champion that... It brings me back to like the George St. Pierre's, you know what I mean? Like they're going to have multiple – or Amanda Nunez currently, like multiple title defenses, fucking people up. Like that's a champion. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't think Amanda Nunez, Nunez can be beaten. 
So, no, no. so at this point, <laughs> she needs to I don't move think up anyone's a class or two. Already well, she needs two. to start she can do two. three. <laughs> That's the next step, yeah. Could be the first three. When do you think UCF does a uh, like male female match? Do you think that you mean ever UFC? happens? You said UFC. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No. UFC. <laughs> I was always wondering if they were going to do it in the Rousey era when she had six wins in a row. Mm-hmm. But it didn't it didn't make like I think financial sense at the time because if she lost, it wasn't worth it. What it was going to mean? Right, it was their right. biggest star? No, no. I think somebody has to. Nunez would have to win a few more to make. I, I'm not sure. It happened in tennis and like nowhere else. Oh yeah, that's right. Bobby, Bobby Riggs, Billie Jean King, and it hasn't happened for like 40 years. <laughs> it's a weird debate that I don't think gets gets touched on often enough. Yeah, because I mean, if anyone can compete in a like intergender fight, it's Amanda Nunez. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, she's she's very talented, and at the weight class, I think there's a fairness to it. Cause she's is she one? Put someone thirty, one fifteen, thirty five, one thirty five, one thirty five. I think she's at one thirty five, one twenty five. And a Nunez, Conor McGregor at one forty catch weight. Everybody wants it, <laughs> but he he doesn't need it. That's the problem. He doesn't need it. No, there's no there's not enough incentive for him there. Oh, I feel like that's it was another thing. too taboo for them to try and do something like that. That's also a thing, like the stigma well, I, of a dude well, beating I, up a woman. Does it's not a good look? No, I mean even wrestling. Wrestling's being as fake as it is. They still try and not do intergender matches. They used to, and certain wrestling promotions do do them regularly. But like WWE being on television and stuff, they won't do it. If they do like a mixed gender tag team match, whenever the man tags the woman in, it doesn't matter. They if the man is still in on the other side, the, the woman automatically comes in. That's the rules that they have it run by. And Nunez beaten. He got either belt in 2016 and 2018. That's just powerful. Mm-hmm. On the card again. That's who I want to see fight. <laughs> All right, we got 54 seconds left. Got a minute to try to yeah, the go to the cards doesn't always excite me as much. No, that's why I want to oh, see what Volkanovski does right now. Because he's, he's defending, he's, so he gets a little leeway, but I, I really think Holloway's winning this one. No, I think so too. I think Holloway's got it. He, he's he's I, gone I for like three takedowns in the past 45 seconds. I think it's unanimous. I think he's going to win it by a point, and it's not going to be a split. Yeah, I definitely I think I'm scoring this 48-47 Holloway. Yeah, I can agree with that. Like Volkanovski's had a few takedowns. Holloway's had a couple takedown defenses. There we go. I mean, I wonder I wonder how much the corners getting hyped plays into the judges' perception. Like, I, I doubt it matters if there's a huge crowd, but when it's just the, yeah. the corners and the judges. Yeah, do you think maybe their excitement kind of spills into it? Mm-hmm. That's my thought. I, this is going to be tough. Not going to be surprised either way, but I it, I think Holloway. Yeah, I think Mike's right. 48 47 Holloway, and then give us a rubber match. Yeah, I mean, maybe I suppose. With it. Is it good for the division or bad that there's a rivalry like this? Like, it's good, I think. Didn't the other one go to decision also? Yeah. The, the Rose see, we look for... No, the other uh, yeah. Volkanovski Holloway fight. I mean, the other Volkanovski did not. 
It did. I, I don't know. It did. Yeah. For what I remember. I thought. <laughs> I'm wrong. Round three, not as close as it is, though. That's going to be the one that the judges might might be split on. Yeah, I could see them going to Volkanovski just because he's the reigning champion. But I really think it's a Holloway give us a rubber match. Volkanovski, the former champion, Max Holloway, to hear and do the Bruce Buffer tonight. <laughs> I mean, I like I like the rivalries, and I like the rivalry from two very different body types. Yeah, it was a decision last time too. That's what I mean. Like, yes, the rubber match makes sense, but you know how Dana White wants his KOs, he wants yeah. his knockouts and submissions. Let's see. So it's split. Wow. Left to be scored for the contest. 48 47. Holloway. Colette scores it. 48 47. Uh, Volkanovski. Werner scores it. 48 47 for the winner by split decision. And. Yep. Wow. <laughs> I gotta say, I don't, I don't agree with that. I don't think. I don't either. I think it comes down to Pat's kind of rule of thumb that the. The uh, the number Champion. one position, like the yeah, you have to take it from the champ, and it very much felt like a very even fight. Wales, Bisping, a lot of people felt like Holloway had a three to one lead, but Volkanovski certainly came on strong in the championship round. Your thoughts? Yeah, listen, it was an incredible. Yeah, I agree. I'm gonna grab water. First two rounds, Max Holloway dropped him in the first, dropped him in the second. In the control of the fight. In the third, Volkanovski turned off the gas, turned off the pressure, started to turn the tide of the fight. Yeah, I had to detect Pat. I was like, what do you think of that one? <laughs> like, I Yeah, he doesn't agree with it either. Everything we've seen, you know what, though? Judges are scoring shit like that leg kick that's consistent all fight. Yeah. Really scoring shit like that. I'm not just saying they're counting it on strikes. They're counting it for like multiple categories of control and all this. Yeah. I don't see it that way. I don't see it that way. But again, I I, I, I'm, I struggle with rivalries like this. Don't lead to big finishes because it's like it's not what mm. gets everyone excited is what I should say. I'm not trying to say we don't like a good – decision it's just like was this one even that exciting i'm not sure yeah just looking for takedowns mixing things up round five and success with the takedowns a couple of good inside trips landed some amazing shots that one wobbled max couple of the hooks here. yeah that also has it for max Back up. This one. Oh, uh, another buddy hit me up that he thought it was Holloway 48-47, just like what you said. He's like, what the hell? <laughs> you brought up the good point of, like, it. you got to take it from a champ, don't you, technically? I don't know. I guess so, yeah. I know you're still digesting this result, but the title defense is in the books. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, it was a good tough one. Mike brought it. He's still there. He didn't really take it back with step. Um, yeah, he, he made a tough for me in the rounds. Uh, yeah, I couldn't have used the kicks as much as I'd like. Um, you know, I just, that's the main thing. That thing in the last round, it was still decent. I had to win that, that last round. Like I said, I wanted to finish. He went for the finish. Uh, got, so it um, seems like Pat agrees. You switched up things strategically. You leaned on the wrestling a little bit. A couple takedowns materialized for you. Was that... A byproduct of the way the fight was going. Well, I'm always going to play what's in front of me. Well, we're on fighter. Um, All right, <laughs> bathroom before yeah, Usman, because that's the one that could end in eight seconds. <laughs> yeah, I just did the same thing. The pain play, and I kept using him. I tried to break that rhythm. Yeah, he's tough. The gamer, you know. But again, hard work. I keep, I keep just hearing uh, Craig's audio yeah. now. Yeah. Words. I just um, muted him for right now. Yeah, I can't. I can't switch because if I do, it it changes the uh the video. Gotcha. Closure 
in the series that you would like as you look ahead to the future? We'll win and you know, we have yeah, no, that was a super close fight. I think we're all kind of in alignment that Max Holloway was... But again, you know, it was so game. close. Like, I, I would have given it to Max, but I think it's understandable that Volkanovski won. Yeah, I, I get it. I don't agree with it, but I get it. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of where it's at. Is like I understand, but I don't have to like it. Yeah. Fights one more before the year is up or what? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Nine fight. Yeah. So we got Usman's on an eleven fight win streak. Damn. If he gets this, he's at the same as uh, Nurmagomedov. Yeah. Yeah, they're not to the Which, so, Craig, you, while you, you were got, go ahead. Uh, Craig, while you were out, they uh, just showed that. What is it? Um, Usman. Uh, yeah, Usman is on an eleven fight win streak currently. Yes, he, he is. He's he hadn't had the title the whole time, but he's a beast. He's the one that Pat got me excited to even watch mm -hmm. before he won the title. He's like, you got to check this dude out. I. I went up to Duffy's one time, and, and I don't even remember which one. It was to watch an Usman non-title fight. The guy's just on a tear. But the yeah. last fight he had was his title defense, I believe, was looked at as unexciting. I think it went to the it went the distance. Won it. The Colby one is what I'm saying. No, Colby yeah. didn't go the distance. Colby got stopped. Yeah, I'm thinking of a different one. Colby, uh, the stoppage on Colby, Colby didn't agree with. And uh, even though Colby fought like three rounds with a broken jaw, because he broke his jaw in like the first round. So what do you guys think is going to happen to Nurmagomed Nurmagomedov now? I mean, dude, he just keeps not being able to fight. Like, Well, not only that, you heard what happened to his dad, right? <laughs> Yeah, his oh, dad. I saw that his dad died. His dad died to COVID. His dad oh, died. It? His dad died to See, COVID. I don't want that on anybody. No, not I at all. I don't like the guy for... Yeah. Sucks. I just wonder, I mean, like, does he keep fighting in memory fighting. of his dad, or does he stop fighting because his dad is gone now? Dad was a big influence for him. Yeah. It was never my favorite to to watch in the fight game, so I wish him well in his life or whatever. But while he was talented. I felt like he lacked the charisma we need out of our fighters, mm -hmm. make them into these larger than life, not just people that punch other people and the folks. Which is what Connor did well. He wasn't necessarily greatest fighter of all time. He positioned. Good punches and a lot of good words all together. <laughs> yeah, he was a character. Yeah. Yeah, Put himself on the biggest stage. That's the that's what this that this and boxing has always been about that. Always been, are you the best at doing it? Can you position yourself as the best so that you're perceived that way? And oh my gosh, does the money follow? Oh yeah. You are perceived as the best. I think the only one that I can think of that was almost pure skill and not marketing is GSP. GSP, you still, I was going to say he's got it. He's about to say GSP. You're right. But that guy might have been, he is Hall of Fame and all that. Like he might have been the best they've ever had. Mm -hmm. So, like, that's, that's a rare place. Hunter calls himself uh, the best in top five. And and you know what? For pay per view, he is. That's a fuck. That's a fact. You can't. That's a quantifiable thing. I count the numbers of pay per view buys. He has the first, second, and I think the third. <laughs> yeah. Of the most buys. Oh yeah. He, he's got that. He is by far the most marketable person MMA has ever had. Is he their best fighter? No. He thinks he is. Yeah, he it's definitely great. does. That's why we buy, right? Isn't that why we buy into it? That's why I, I, I think Usman on his win streak, if he had a better microphone game, if you will, if he learned a little bit from like The Rock, could he could have <laughs> already been a genre-changing talent with 11 wins in a row behind you. But instead, we have a UFC that's kind of missing 
that person. And uh, Connor is no longer relevant. Yeah. Someone put a two hundred thousand dollar bet on Masvidal. Go Masvidal. Yeah. I think I think Adesanya uh, is the closest thing we have to a Connor now. I think so, but he's only defended. I looked at he only he defended twice, which is great. Um, he he needs big thing. He's close. He's got the cover of the new video game with Masvidal. That's cool. Needs a a marquee fight that people. ESPN would cover. Does mm-hmm. that make sense what I'm saying? Like that yeah. Connor became ESPN coverage. Like front and center all night. Not just that they were going to recap who won. They always do that. Yeah. That I can... Usman's that guy. I don't know if it's true or not, but maybe he is. I think I think Usman is close. It, 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 there's so many people who are close. Usman's close. Masvidal is close. I think Adesanya has the potential to be that person. I think he he has the unique style. He has the charisma. He's kind of that like that internet kid who just has grown up and is now that fighter. Like yeah, he's, he he's got that meme game down, you know. Good TikTok kid that can kick everyone's ass. Yeah, right. <laughs> he's very talented, but. What are your thoughts on Masvidal, the fighter? I like him. I you know I think he's got enough personality. I don't think he's got the Connor level, but I think as a fighter, he's he's there. But I also I need to see more because the last fight we had was Ben Askren, and he knocked him out in three seconds. Well, no, wasn't the last fight that he had the BMF fight against Diaz? Yes, oh, he right. wh- he wh- he whooped up Diaz. Which- he did. Which that fight was kind of kind of bullshit. Wow. How it ended? So, oh, it ended on a doctor stoppage. Oh, that's in right. Between rounds. Yeah, yeah, that was kind of bullshit. Diaz, you can't. You got to hit him with a truck. Got to hit that boy with a truck. He's, he's not going down. <laughs> yeah. That's the Stevo behind him. <laughs> it might have been. Yeah. I, I won't lie. I got confused when they rolled out this BMF belt, and I said, "Oh, you know, really must like Vince McMahon's marketing strategies," because it seemed a little bit out of a playbook we've seen over the last thirty years that WWF and WWE employed of making up a belt out of thin air. Yeah, it never seemed like UFC would do it, and then they did it. And like, oh wow, what does this mean? Is this is it a little more played than we ever wanted it to be? Because it always, the realness was never in question. And I don't question it. I'm watching them break each other's faces. Mm-hmm. The made up belt struck me as odd. What did you guys think of that? I think that they, it, I think it worked there, but it can never happen again. Because you had the East and the West Coast. You had the California Nate Diaz and you had the West, or yeah, West Coast Nate Diaz, East Coast Miami. Masvidal, but if you just keep doing it, it loses every, all meaning. Yeah, I didn't know if it was something they were going to continue. I, I, I wasn't that locked in on it. I hope, not. Mike. What do you think? For me, I, 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 I don't think it like works for longevity's sake. Mm-hmm. Like, I, it was kind of like a kitschy, fun thing to do. I just don't see it happening again. You know, I, I don't know. I mean, he, here's my thing is, oh, OK, it looks like one of his people's carrying the belt behind him, um, but it, they have it wrapped up kind of thing. Um, I think that's what that is. Yeah, it looks like it. But that's my thing is like, it doesn't mean anything, you know, like. Right. Because my thing is, if you're going to have a belt like that, what, why, why, are, why does that belt kept at that weight class? You know, like. Yeah. Right, it could go anywhere. My thing is, you know, yeah. you know, let me ask you this. Usman wins. How do you feel if he has gets the BMF in addition? Are we then liking his belt as a as a add-on to it is a beyond weight class thing? You know, people could be in catch weight fights and that belt could be is that what they are thinking there, or is it really just Again, he's got it on his shoulders. That confuses things of it just being a one-time thing, like you said. Yeah. yeah. 
I I think there aren't go. enough catchweight fights for it to be a interweight division belt. I, I think it was really cool as a single event, but I, I really think if you just keep it going, it loses its its moment. Let me tell you what's definitely going to happen. That that dude who's holding it is going to pull it out if he wins. Oh, one hundred percent. Oh, sure. yeah. It, it it that's what's happening. Like the other one, and he'll two belt it. Yeah, but that's that's why it's there. I'm not good at either. That's why it's there, so that he could be a uh, version of a two belt champ, even though he is not. Yeah, he's done some things he's a ko specialist Love that it's a Love it's a that. it's like a 10 percent belt he can have a 1.1 belt yeah. fun it's fact fun. is that me and uh me and pat saw masvidal fight and we didn't even realize it <laughs> really? it was so early in his career the lot at that one you at the event you all went to yeah the the main event was uh because it was just a fight night um, and it was Travis Brown versus Fabricio Verdum. And I'm pretty I sure that Masvidal was like a prelim or a uh, uh, like fight pass fight. Because there's so many people that were on that fight that are huge on that card that are huge now. So give me just a second. Okay. Uh, Okay, so main event was Fabricio Werdum, Travis Brown. Then it was Misha Tate versus Liz Carmouche. Uh, oh my God. Donald Cerrone versus Edson Barbosa. Damn. Uh, Brad Tavares versus Yoel Romero. This was a fight night? This was a fight night. Shit. At yeah, the uh, uh, Amway. Okay, so at the Amway, yeah. Uh, then pro- the preliminary card, which was on FS1... Khabib versus Rafael Dos Anjos. Uh, Jorge Masvidal versus Pat Healy. Um, and then the the pre, pre, pre card, we had uh, Dustin Ortiz and Ray Borg, and then Derek Lewis was the first fight of the night. It was his first fight in the UFC. <laughs> Derek, my balls are um, hot, Derek Lewis. Was- <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he's Derek dancing too much. First fight of the Punch. night, first round knockout. In I think first round knockout in thirty seven seconds. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, Masvidal. Uh, no, Derek Lewis. Masvidal's fight oh, was a unanimous decision win at that on that card. Masvidal's fought a lot of times. This is obviously his big old shot. It's because of the six day thing that he even has it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that and also, like, if I'm being honest, I think that the fight originally being with Gilbert Burns, Gilbert Burns doesn't get me terribly excited. No. You know? Yeah. So not only him backing out and then Masvidal, Masvidal took it because Masvidal is going to sell pay per views. That's why they gave it to him. Conspiracy, like just like conspiracy, Dana gave Burns yeah. COVID so that Masvidal could come in and pump those numbers. Could be. Well, it's so true, but he's Masvidal's on the cover of the video game with Israel. Yeah, yeah. They're both on the goddamn cover of the game. Like, there, it's not even that far of a of a conspiracy theory because we know <laughs> Dana White about those dollars. He about the dollars. Yeah. Every time. I don't blame him for that. He's running a goddamn business through a pandemic, right? <laughs> like, yeah. Did, the- didn't they have to do like three different fight nights in a single week just to keep up with their contract with Disney? It was Disney? weird. Disney owns. What they're doing yeah. on fight. Mm. ESPN. What's up? I didn't know they that Disney ESPN. owned. ESPN. Wait, I, I I couldn't hear. Oh, they're, 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 contract with ESPN is a Disney contract. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. But this Fight Island thing, from what I read, this might not be true. They're they're going to be having three more events in the next like couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah. I mean they, they got to do what they got to do. Four, they built it for four four events, all happening in the next month is what I read. I don't 
it, it's all very confusing and changes all the time, you know? Yeah. Well, because when they first came back, they were doing them in, like, I think, like, Jacksonville or something like that. Yep. For, and then they moved Jackson. them over to Vegas. Abu Dhabi's now, kicking in some I would be if I were them. I would do the same thing. Jacksonville doesn't have as much money as Abu Dhabi. Yeah, Abu <laughs> no, Dhabi's on the really. damn ring post. Yeah, look at the ring post. You'll see Abu Dhabi's tourism logo. Yeah. Very interested in this money. Yeah, very I, interested. Uh, in people. They've already promoted the Lamborghini, or sorry, the Ferrari theme park, the water park multiple times. There's a Ferrari theme to- park. Oh fuck yeah. yeah, there is. Oh shit, their F1 team Our sucks world. this year. It's on this island, the, Sion, the island they're on. Oh, shit. Is, it is a made-up island because oil is a still a very valuable commodity. <laughs> oh, that's wild. We're able to put up this arena in, in, in weeks in the same place where there it's a tourist app, theoretically, run by one of the richest oil countries. You know. Yep. <laughs> yeah. All right. Here's Bruce Bu- Bruce Buffer. All right. Where are you guys at? You got the announcement? Yeah. I can just start talking. I'm keeping my volume off so it doesn't fuck your thing up. <laughs> Perfect. Man, no Herb Dean. All right. Usman's got a bunion on his right foot. That's going to be a problem. <laughs> I've seen this guy a bunch. He's all right. Goddard? Yeah, he's done a bunch. Yeah. You know, Usman just looks like he's in much better shape, but I'm not sure how I feel about that. Well, you also got to remember, like, Masvidal wasn't in camp. Like, But Masvidal never looks like he's ripped like like Kamaru. Oh, he never appears... Anything other than, I guess, what he is going for, which is a badass kind of, I, I do this. Yeah. Yeah. But if I, I, I saw something about Masvidal having to cut an unhealthy amount of weight in six days because of the fact that he was, he wasn't ready. Like, he took it on six days notice. Well, was it really six He days? got the call. Yeah. To wear gar- oh, yeah. He took this last week. Wearing garbage bags all week. Yeah. <laughs> it, it it's a you know wouldn't you if this is what you were trying to do anyway you take your fucking chances right this is your Hamilton moment don't throw away your shot land <laughs> one punch and get lucky man you know or don't or don't and and then you get to say I took it on six days give me another chance yeah it's kind of a win win for him. Good, and, uh... if he makes this go a couple rounds he gets another one. Mm-hmm. Even if he yeah. loses. If he gets dumb. I, like just, I just like that you went ahead and made a UFC Broadway crossover reference. <laughs> you like that? You like that? You didn't have that on my Bring bingo card for tonight. <laughs> Man, shit was, was hot this, this uh, month. It came out last week. Dude, I watched it. Did too. It was good. Disney paid 75 mil put that exclusive on plus i'm impressed wow. by that god damn they got the money there's rumor going and by the end of uh their next year or the year after would be worth the property hamilton a billion that's impressive because it's Very. been sold to all the cities and everything that's mm-hmm. not so bad that it took them five years to write it you know what i'm saying like you just got a billy <laughs> <laughs> yeah shit you know who I was thinking of? Ninganu had a fight that went the distance that disappointed people. Oh, where he didn't throw a single punch? I mean, as many as we would have hoped. I think it was versus Derek Lewis, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Right. Like, they were just Ngannou both so afraid of... Could not pay me to be in the ring with. No, that, that money, a billion. I think a billion is where I would do it. To take one punch from Nganu. Nganu would tear my head big, off. So yeah, he would kill one. us all. Okay, so we had like sitting... a fairly boring, a boring fight. And that's what it, that's who I was thinking of, not Usman. 
Gotcha. So we're, we are sitting at 443, 442, 441 of the Usman Maz Vidal fight, if you were just t- tuning in now. They're not wasting any time. No. Oh. Usman's got his back already. Or got him on his back. Isn't Usman the other wrestler? I believe so. Yeah. Yeah, because him and Bas- Ben Askren know each other. He called him Marty. It's a good elbow. No, that's what that's what Covington called uh, Usman. So did uh, Ben Askren. Oh, did he? Yeah. Ash. Like th- th- there are video clips too of him being Marty, so I-, I think that is his real name, or maybe it's his like the name he went by. Yeah, because I know Covington Usman called him like, Marty, Marty Fake News or something like that. Yeah, I think it was just like. My understanding is that, oh shit, that Ben Askren called him that oh, yeah. just as like that's what he knew him by. And then it just kind of became yeah. a way to discredit him. It's like, fuck it. If you change your name, you change your name. Or if you change what you even go Oh, by. it looks like stronger than him. Oh, very much so. Yeah. Good defense, though. I think, yeah. I think Mosfidal is going to be a little bit more careful right now after that. Yeah. Got to be. Ooh, never mind. <laughs> yeah. He's got that Miami fire. Dude, man, he's, he's fighting just... backyards at Kimbo Slice. Oh, like, that's right. Got shit. it. <laughs> yeah. That's how he got discovered. He got discovered fighting, doing a Kimbo Slice backyard fight. Is he is he slowed by the strength he felt on the ground though? He doesn't seem slower to me. Swinging as much as I'm used to seeing in the few fights I've seen him th- pl- fight in, I've not seen all his fights. He's had quite a few. I think he's expecting Kamaro to do a lot of takedowns with his wrestling background. Yeah. Which, I mean, so far, he's kind of like two for two on the takedowns. Mm -hmm. That one in. Got to be tough when there's a guy that's just, yeah, he's your size, but he's much stronger than you. Mm -hmm. And you got to figure out how to (laughs) weasel out of situations. He's getting those shoulder strikes in. Yeah. Uh, hey, Connor got a knockout with those, man. Isn't that its own beautiful thing for him to be? Maybe his last thing he does is to just close somebody's eyes with his shoulder blade. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, Masvidal's got a little cut opening up. Yeah. Does he? Oh, I see it. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, under his left eye. I might get a guy like him fired up. Yeah, I think he thrives off the pain. Ooh. Yeah, I think so far, unless something happens big, this is a uh, Usman round. Yeah. I mean, Masvidal's definitely gotten a couple shots in, but yeah, the ground control, the takedowns. Exactly. Usman, got, Usman has had two takedowns, I think, and then has not, pretty much been advancing the entire round. Not getting destroyed. Masvidal is setting himself up well. Mm-hmm. He's landed some solid punches. He's setting the groundwork. land but it was hot I think Uz, or I think um, Masvidal gets cocky when he feels like he's losing which is what yeah, he's doing he right, definitely now. Like he's a little cocky right now right, we got 1-0 oh, Kamara oh those body shots hurt me at the end Ace tells me those actually hurt that's the thing <laughs> Couldn't 
hold in that those rib shots were real. <laughs> they, yeah. they were. <laughs> oh, and Usman's probably a little disappointed. And end it with a guy who just took the fight this week. <laughs> right. Not preparing. Though I wonder how how prepared the like top level, like the top five, top six, whatever, are at any time. Like, are they ready to fight at all times? You no, know, I think you got to be somewhere near that when it becomes, when you're in this, this is not the first time someone had to take a fight on short notice. Right. This is not, I think you're onto something there, that there's definitely a certain mental aspect of certain fighters that are going to stay, much like a athlete in other sports, don't let the off season mean you gain 30 pounds. Some of them mm-hmm. get even more efficient in the off season. That's <laughs> That's another body shot I missed. He's really working the body on him. Oh man, that's the thing. You could you could get a good enough shot in the kidneys, man. You shut a person down with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He showed one that was I didn't notice, and then we did see the the last three from the clinch that Ooh, going for the leg. Wow, that flexibility. Landed. Good defense. Bit of a scramble, but he still stayed up. Yeah. He was going again. Yeah, I think I really think Usman started to feel the striking from Masvidal because in the first thirty seconds he's done two takedown attempts. That one didn't work. Mm-mm. First one didn't work. Second one's not working. He's wasting some strength on that. Mm-hmm. Looking bad for those him. toe stamps, stomps. It's, the, it's all mental, man. Like it's also harder to fight someone that sweats profusely. <laughs> those that don't. Yeah. They're just slickened. It's like a this kid, like a, big... it's like a greased pig. Yeah, yeah. Good luck having that man's back. It's already wet. So you're saying I have a chance? Yeah. I mean, if you're a slippery dude, <laughs> the I'm only a thing slip, is, motherfucker, you would have to cornrow the shit out of that mane of yours. Oh, I've done it. Or, it's nice. Or it's legal to yank it. Yeah. I've done that though. It's nice. It's nice having the nice tight braid. Uh, that's why they do it, because it can get in the way easily. Not a man hugging. You know, they just care about each other a lot. Ooh, that was a solid hit to the face. Ooh, yeah. Looks like Masvidal's right eye is starting to open up. Yeah, I see blood on the back of Usman by the looks of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, unless I'm wrong on that, and that's just what his his own wetness. <laughs> no, I think you're right. I think that's Masvidal's uh, eye and nose blood. It's not like Sirius says Rose earlier, whose face was broken. Yeah, yeah, her face is definitely messed up. Another couple shots, and Mazda doll's not going to look great. Mm. Keep going for that right eye. Close it up. Yeah. I, I, I'm i going to stand by the fact that Mazda doll's not out yet. It only speaks to where he's going to go. Oh, you know, yeah. His trajectory upward. He was saying he thought he deserved a championship fight, and maybe that was true. He's not getting manhandled. No, it's pretty even. Yeah. And for him to come into this six fight or six days early or six days before, rather, I think it it really speaks to what his abilities are. He's getting that left side is getting pummeled. Every clinch is punching his ribs. It's got to suck so bad. Those are powerful strikes, too. He's just doing a strike. Toe stomp, oh. strike, toe stomp. Shoulder jab. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, Usman's got this round. Oh yeah. He's, he's yeah, because the only thing that oh. had going for him this round, only other thing he had going for him was the fact that uh, he was defending the takedowns early, but he hasn't really done anything since then. Mm-mm. Oh. Yeah, he's just brutalizing him for the next one. Yeah. This, this to me looks like like you said, meat tenderizing. <laughs> yeah, so you're, exactly. You're pounding out your chicken because you need to bread it. Like he's either setting him up, softening him up, knowing now he's going to come out with the heat. Be ready to come. Oh, be ready to counter. Miles, but I was doing that cocky thing. Is, his arms low. Oh, I mean, God. he literally has nothing to lose. No, he's such a shit talker. He is. <laughs> yeah, he's a shit talker. He came into this not thinking he was going to have a title fight, and here he is going into round three. And he's the kind of guy. This is one punch is all he needs. Masvidal? Yeah. yeah. He's knocked quite a few people out. Both of them have one punch power. Yeah. That's the thing against, we were talking about this, like Holloway does not have one punch power. So you don't have to fear one windup from the guy unless he hits the magic button, which is hard to do for a guy that is not packing. Mm-hmm. Both of these guys could put the other one back. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's a big gash on his eye. Yeah, the, yeah they just put a whole lot of Vaseline in that <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> you fill that shit with petroleum heavy. Oh, he's got that's... one over both eyes. Oh, he's getting brutalized. He's the chicken. Kamaro's the tenderizer. Sure. He Usman's showing all the facets of the game. I'll, I'll hit your legs. I'll hit your middle. I'll hit your head with my shoulder. Like, hey, this is a two rounds to none. Not even a question. This was never going to be Masvidal winning a decision in five. No. no. This is can Masvidal get that lucky shot off? <laughs> yeah. Can he get that freak knockout without preparation? Yep. But like you said, Craig, it, it's a win-win. If he wins, he did it on six. Days. If he loses, he had six days. Right. He. I think he's already in the win territory. He's already made ten minutes with the champs, so it's like almost eleven. Like, yeah, you're, you're fine, man. You're gonna get another opportunity. You're gonna make it, whether it's against Usman or the guy takes it from him. He's winning wow. fans over right now. Usman in the clinch has four times the amount of strikes that Masvidal does. 88 to 22. Masvidal's catching his goddamn breath. Yep. He's clinches. Yeah. Usman. <laughs> now, Usman is a true athlete. Like, just the amount of cardio that he has to just pound away. I mean, if I'm Masvidal, I'm trying to break that clinch as soon as possible every time he's in it. I think he needs the he needs the break. Do you think those appear to be powerful shots? His ribs I feel like they might matter. <laughs> yeah, he might he's not as energetic as he's been in other fights. He also took, I think, a dozen of these like full on uppercuts. With his ribs. Yeah. No, I think it's really affecting him. He hasn't been cocky, and I think if he can't get a knockout punch, he's like, this is a lose for him in the match. The bu- cup strike. Give him a minute. Give him a minute. You you you, you tag him in the needers. How's the stomach? See, punch him in the dick. Uh, like he 
Might have scraped the cup a little bit. Yeah, it looked like a stomach punch to me. Actually did get up to the belly button, yeah. And Usman wants him in the middle of the ring. Masvidal is going to take himself a break. Because <laughs> yeah. if he gets one, he's going to take it. Whether he got hit there or not, he needs a break. <laughs> Fuck that. I don't think he hit him in the balls. I don't think he's so either, but dude, he needs a fucking break, man. That's he's getting hammered. In there. What's up? Oh, like, did he cover it at the end? Maybe. There might have been some coverage at the end. There was definite cupping. Yeah. Just wanted to see if he was ca- he was carrying everything in there or not. <laughs> Something got out the top. Are you pulling an Aldo? Are you stuffing? <laughs> Are you overcompensating? Okay, now just nothing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a little bit of dancing. Take down. God, this is a microwave minute. Ooh, back to back takedowns. Ooh, and that time he's got him away from the fence now. Yep. What are you sitting at, Mike? I'm at 110. 113. Craig? About eight seconds behind you guys. Okay. I saw the. I mean,. It, it's it's a three zero, not a chance. Masvidal's done nothing. Mm-hmm. Say that in the in the for the who's gonna win. I think Masvidal's done quite a bit for his potential next fight. Oh, for sure. He's just not currently winning this fight by yeah. any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not gonna win this fight unless something crazy happens. But he is setting himself up for and, something down the road. Oh, he get, he's going to get out of this round. He needs to come out round four or five with it, an Askren style or whatever he did to that poor guy. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the flying knee. Otherwise, otherwise, this is right now a, a 30-27, and that's only going to get worse. Yep. This could really be, if it goes five, it'd be like a 50-45. There's nothing you could give right now to Masvidal. Mm, no. Yet. I'm not saying he won't do something in four and five, but. God, good luck to that guy who put 200000 on Masvidal. Yeah, there goes $200,000. Well, you know, <laughs> what if Usman's gassing, though? And he lands a sucker punch. I, I don't, I'm, you know. He could, but I'm just looking at him now. It doesn't seem like he's breathing that heavy. No. Oh. Agree with you. I think he's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's ten minutes away from a uh, victory, in, unless he can crumple these rib shots. He's really not head hunting though. He's not going at anything. It's going to close his eyes. This is also very past my bedtime. <laughs> yeah. Oh, same. I'm not normally up this late. Concerned. I'm surprised my kid hasn't woken up four times. I'm like, oh my god! Well, he knows you're watching okay in that room. He's being respectful. I want what you I want that to be true. I want him to respect me and things that I like. <laughs> you gotta believe it.
Definitely, Masvidal's not coming out with pop. No. He's gassed, man. Think so? I think so. He's been defending against Kamaru Usman for the past 15 minutes. Well, Just I mean, taking rib too. shot after rib shot. You got the weight cut. You have the short notice. You have the travel. You have the potential quarantine that he had to go under for two days. Like... To make Fight Island work for him it had to be a pain in the ass. Mm-hmm. That's why I said it's kind of admirable that he took it. It's good for his brand. It's good for what he's doing. And he's he's into championship rounds. So even if he loses, he wins. I think so. I'm not sure if he had a title fight before this. So I think that he has. Has he, he has? I don't think so. I said I don't think he has. I don't think so either, which is it, – it's a it's a good thing when you're the guy – first of all, he's Dana's and now for taking the sixth day. Yeah. And for making pay-per-view better than it was going to be, that's important too. That's that's getting your money right. Yep. <laughs> you just figure out how to not get your face blown up and you <laughs> and you get to the end of it. Throw up a few times tonight. Oof. God, that knee. Oof. Yeah, I see that now. That's a dead leg right there. Mm Mm-hmm. He can't do anything to defend it against it either. He's trying. Usman's got all the weird strikes that you just don't see normally. He's getting your foot, your calf, your quad, your your neck. That's what he's doing, man. He's trying to break toes. Yeah, he's put he's pulling them apart. That's the stomp on the foot, man. He's just trying to break a toe, get him off balance. I'm I'm so impressed Usman has the cardio that he does. He's still so explosive right now. Yeah. Well he's got the conditioning. For sure. I think he wants to knock this guy out. I really do think he wants to end him. I think so, too. He's pulling up weird shit. Oh, Go for that Superman. Ooh! Ooh, he's showing some fight. Fight in the, in the floor. Ooh, he tried. Yeah, he's feeling that, uh, that cornering. Yes. Yeah, that spinning back fist that he went for there. Yeah. But if it landed. Yeah, but that's the thing is Usman read it like a book. Mm-hmm. Like, Look at how heaving he is. <laughs> Can't blame him. I'm just saying we can see it, bro. Yeah. Multiple takedown You gave attempts. him your number. I'm not sure he would fall. Oof. Oh. Ooh, he's getting some more shots in now, some serious shots. Mm-hmm. More toe strikes, shoulder strike, toe strike, inner thigh, back to back. A nail lock right there. God, uh, you no! Know, with the amount of activity in the clinch, not that I know the scoring as well as I would need to to make this statement, but these could be like ten eights amount of activity. Yeah, yeah. Activity. I, I, you're right that this might not be a fifty forty five. This could be a fifty forty three. Look at that clinch ways. control time. Yeah, it's so strange because you're not used to seeing a guy old, but at, be active. He's finding ways to strike him all through this. Yeah. I mean, again, it, it's impressive for Usman in, yeah. in that, but on the one hand, like he couldn't knock him out, but it's impressive what he's able to do to somebody. Because Usman doesn't look damaged at all. No, he looks fine. He looks how Connor looked after most of his fights. <laughs> yeah. Cocky. It was just 
was this guy in a fight or Floyd Mayweather just never got hit. Or, hey, it, yeah. Masvidal's tired. I mean, I'm looking at it right now on ESPN stats. Usman has more than double strike, total strikes landed than Masvidal. Yeah, I mean, it's 4-0. He's got to come out and do something. Crazy would it be if he could land it? God, yeah, what an ending. He's losing this fight. He could win this round by three points, and he still loses the fight. And winning a round by three points, I can't even tell you the last time I saw something like that happen. I haven't even seen it in boxing in yeah. my memory. You'd have to, you'd have, in, and the boxing is scoring is different. You'd have to knock someone down three times in a round and barely get hit to get a 10-7. Don't know what it takes in MMA. I don't know if I've ever seen a 10-7. Yeah, I'm trying to think if I I've have. ever seen one. It's been 10 eights. Yeah, I've seen a handful of 10 eights. That last round could have been one. Masvidal didn't do shit. <laughs> no. It's got to do something big, though. Oh. It's a it's a win to be in the fifth, you know. I guess mm-hmm. there's that. There is that. No, Masvidal won on the grand scale. His brand is is boosted for this. Absolutely. Because he can say I'm title fight ready in six days. Just wait and see what I have when I have twelve weeks. Yeah, give me a whole camp. God. Yeah, he's like, so I got gas. Right now. You saw it. If he's honest tomorrow, let's see if he says, like, you guys saw it, I got gas. Give me a full camp, and I'll show you what's up. Let's see what, what the rhetoric looks like, because that's going to be how he sets himself up for a really nice run. Yeah. It would be the most lucrative and best loss of his career. Yeah, because I think Masvidal is also one of those people where his, like, negotiation tactics with Dana are so much more advanced now because he knows that he can get more money out of the guy. Mm-hmm. Especially because of how yeah. well that Nate Diaz fight did. Yeah, great Nate Diaz fight. The quickest knockout in UFC history. Six days short notice, and he's going arguably the entire yeah, distance. He's- with with so your who, guy. Yeah, I mean, he like Camaro's no joke. He usurped um, what's his name. Tyron Woodley, who had held the title for five years, I believe. Usman's frustrated, though. He wanted this guy. He wanted to put this guy to sleep. And it he didn't, hasn't yet. See a, a, a rematch here in the... In... Absolutely. Yeah, he, I think he deserves all has another fight in between that. They both fight someone else first. Mm-hmm. They both have to win. They both win. They come back. Oh yeah, then it's fun. And it's ain't six days anymore, my man. I'm coming for you, kind of yeah. shit. He was, you know, he got mad. <laughs> he's hooking on with his toes. Yeah, I mean, he's 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 struggling, dude. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. You can see his his eyes are bleeding. Yeah, you can't even blame the poor bastard. He's just completely outmatched, but. I just I, end of the day, I think Usman's a better fighter. Even even given the full camp, I think Usman's just a better fighter than Masvidal. He is. This is middleweight, right? Uh, welterweight. Sure. Who else is relevant in this? Class? Well, Gilbert Burns is the number one right now, and he was the one who had to drop out. Uh, Colby Covington. Masvidal's yeah, at three, nice. Tyron Woodley's at five, Stephen Thompson's at six, Dos Anjos, Nate Diaz, Robbie Lawler, Anthony. Pettis. Not excited. Not you you, you basically doing anything anymore? A bunch of dudes I used to watch when I was twenty five. So come on, this is not this is not anything. This one's gonna be a top here until they can get somebody. Yeah, everybody's trying to be weight champs anyway now. That's the new. That's the new currency for them. What is? 
multi weight championships, meaning oh. like you you you're just welter? Oh, okay. Well, I'll see you when you went up or down and won there as well. Yeah. Now there's too many guys. Cormier, Connor, Cejudo, Nunez, multiple people that that's the new gold standard in UFC. We haven't seen a triple division, right? Yeah. No. Nunez, though, I think arguably could be the first one. Yeah. She can do what she wants, but I just hope that's how it goes. I hope. It's fun. Ooh, all right. He's getting – he's backed into a corner. He's going now. You know – Ooh. Yeah, Usman knows all he has to do is just avoid the next nine seconds, and he's retaining the championship. Oh. I can't tell if they're talking shit or congratulating each other. No, I think they congratulated each other, but I think Masvidal says, give me a full camp. I want to go again. <laughs> yeah, understandable, man. A lot of credit to Masvidal I, I, here, I though. 25 minutes on six days, I think, is impressive. I think there's absolutely no chance at winning, but he has proven he can be there without ready to be there. Mm-hmm. He's dead is going to throw up tonight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's going to be bloody. Second he throw up. The second he eats a meal, he's like... Blah, blah, blah. The, the. Forgot that my stomach got forcibly <laughs> punctured by someone. <laughs> my thing is just, what are the scorecards going to be? That's my question. Oh, bad. Obviously, Usman oh. won all five rounds. Yeah. I'd, if they're not split, not... do they tell us? No, they'll still read the scores. It's just they, do they? Yeah, they'll still read the scores for all three judges. Um, it's just they won't say who won all three rounds if all three of them are the same. I'm going to say 50-45, 50-45, 49-46. Ugh. And that's who would do that? I don't know. I just think one person's going to be like, I'm different. Well, my, oh, I kind of want to so see. It's going to be like, uh, is there going to be like a 50 43 in there? Like, oh, you think so? so? That's why I said like a something that's just around that he controlled the clinch for nearly three minutes. Like, you just. That's another fair. guy wasn't even in the. Uh, 50 39, 50 38. <laughs> yeah. Just to see the clap that is just Hey, he he the distance. I res- you gotta respect that. Yeah, I didn't think he would. No, and he's beat up, but he's not. He's not Rosen Amanunez beat up. Let's see. Round, Who called it? Just for the contest. Five. Well, wow, someone actually gave him a round. I told you. And still. <laughs> oh, <Who> man. <laughs> I don't <Well> know. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't think that was a possibility. Unbelievable. Yeah. Fun night. Oh, man. He 100% me... deserved it, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. So impressed by by, uh, by Masvidal, but... Yeah, for sure. Oh. Gentlemen, I appreciate the invite. I look forward yeah. to, to fucking around with some of this stuff in the future. Yeah, man. Go so you fun. See you. Hang out with us. <laughs> yeah, it's past all our bedtime, so have a great night, guys. Yeah, yeah you too. Good night. Cheers, Craig. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to do a little wrap up here. So thanks everyone for watching. Um, really appreciate it. This is the first time we've ever tried this. And personally, I had a lot of fun. Me too. So I'm going to read out 
Chat, uh, shout outs to everyone in chat. Thank you, another TV viewer, Atten, Commander Root, Hot Local Mom, Lurks, Sweet Holly, and Thicker. And of course, Ooh, the I'll Junk Door Show. Mm-hmm. I know. And of course, the Junk Door Show and uh, Mike from Florida. Yeah. Right? So we appreciate you all. And uh, I think now's a good time to wrap up. Cool. Well, thank you all for hanging out and have a great night. Get some sleep. Good night.